So you're looking at becoming a member of my channel. If you don't know what a membership is, it's a way of you supporting the channel a bit more than just liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting on videos. There's different tiers of memberships in my channel, all the way from bronze to diamond, and you get different perks depending on which ones you get. I won't go into every single detail of the perks, you can read them for yourself, but basically you can become a member, get member only live streams and member only chats, some cool emojis, you get drafted into a members only closed Facebook group where we chat about design and it's basically like a community where I can chat with you a bit more, post my work, you can post yours, we can critique each other's work and be in a closed group of people. And the higher you go up in the tiers, the more you get and it's a monthly thing so I would just like to thank you if you were thinking of becoming a member don't worry if you can't but thank you so much all right everyone how we doing it's good to see everyone in here I am joined by Naomi who is off camera hello Naomi is here and she's going to be helping me out with the mammoth of a task that is the come design with me stream right so many there so is... many you've worked all day on this haven't you know me um yes you know, he's worked all day on getting this correct getting all the submissions that she could in for me to make it easier so it's smoother and faster and everyone gets a good stream experience so if you're new here press that subscribe button and all that and we're going to go into some comments Naomi, is there any interesting comments here? we have got loads of people in the chat we've got balram we've got david pruitt everybody loves david pruitt everyone loves david pruitt he is a member of the channel he is we've got mike pickett who's dropped in say hello he can't stay for very long but he's here now then mike love it. we've got daniel young we've got samantha as well we've got roldan cindy lou we've got a few is that cindy lou from the grinch I have no idea. I love the Grinch. We've got Mohammed. We've got so many people. We've got so many people in. And we're psyched to see about 70 yes. designs. It's going to be insane today. So rules of the game are this. This is the last day of the Come Design With Me sort of series two submissions. So that means that we're going to be looking at all submissions today because I felt like I can't just pick like five people in every video and show them. Everyone works really hard on these. So we're going to show them all day. I'm going to give my thoughts. And yeah, that's basically it. We're going to show as many as possible. And I will choose a wild card and we might have a voting thing at the end. Is that correct? Yeah, we'll figure out as we go along. We're going to figure this out as we go it's along. It's going to be fun. Two man team, one man, one girl team, whatever. So basically, if you want to become a member, and I don't know if any of you guys saw the first video that popped up, and I will get straight into the critiques after this little message, but the membership program has changed slightly on my channel, which means that it's more accessible to anyone who watches me. If you want to become a member, basically, you get to be in a Facebook group. Everyone gets that, and there's different tiers. So you've got bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond tier and David Pruitt is my first platinum tier member, which means that he gets a lot of perks. You can see the perks when you press join. I won't talk too much about them. But tonight, if you want to have your design shown in the stream as you're working on it right now, you have to super chat at least five pounds or ten dollars or more for me to actually do that because we've got so many to look at. And that's just a way to keep me sane so I don't get too tired too quick. But we've got 70 brand presentations to look through today which is incredible we had like 300 submissions <laughs> over the whole of the series two which is insane so we're gonna go straight into it how's the chat doing we're all good people excited awesome so here is my live screen so you can see here i've got loads of people that have like given in so we'll go straight into it the first one is from adriana i believe let's have a look at adriana's so there's no music either today, make it easier. So let me zoom in right here, one-handedly. Hello, my name is Adriana ooh, Hernandez. Hernandez. I'm a graphic designer from, uh, what? what's that? How do you say that, Naomi? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. I recently, I really enjoyed the challenge. Thank you, Will, for the opportunity. I hope I can get some great feedback. And there's an Instagram tag, people. Go follow her. Go and check her out. 
Awesome. So here's Payzeal. Anyone who's just joined in on this channel, Payzeal is like PayPal. It is like other companies in the pay app market. It's a new way of doing online transactions and their biggest competitor is PayPal. And there was a brief. You guys have brought them in. Let's have a look. So first off, Adriana, I love the color concept you've got here. You've gone yellow with a cool like orange yellow tint. It's not too bright yellow. It's just nice. It's happy enough in my way of thinking you've also got a nice typographic logo that looks clean and presentable now you've gone black and yellow and white and then this off-white color which is just white in lower transparencies i like it i think it looks cool you've shown this in a presentation sort of way so let me go straight through this and have a look so logo let's have a look so paisio here is the typographic logo. First of all, you need you see this app icon here. It doesn't really work. I don't know what's going on here. Why is the banner box so big? Oh, everything is grouped. Everything is grouped. It's like you don't want me to change anything. Let me ungroup everything. There we go. So this app icon, it goes way too far into the borders. You need to get the actual app icon mock-up from Apple to do it right. They've got like a grid layout. I'll do this, bring it down lower. Then it gives it enough space to breathe around. And that, look, that looks a bit better to me. We've also turned that down a little bit, there we go. We've also got the typographic logo, which is here, Paisil. Um, typeface choice is great. The problem is though, it's like, what you've got to be very careful when you choose these. Not every typeface will work well as a logo. Uh, and the main things that I look out for, and I think a lot of like other designers look out for really, is the kerning between them so let's just ungroup these bring that kerning in and because of this typeface it you have to edit it slightly to get the kerning right but you may disagree with this little choice that i'm making but what i'm doing there is i'm kerning it and centering it back up so it looks more like one even block which is what people look for so it works in black and white it works in yellow and black um again the only thing that I don't like at all is the arrows. So the arrows are too too far into the icon. And you're not showing the arrows just by themselves just yet. But let's have a look at your components. Let me get rid of my image trace and my character selector here. And my appearance. Cool. So the icon... So you've got Z plus the arrows for transactions, which is a very commonly used thing, which is good that people are catching on to that equals this so the cool the cool thing about this logo is i can understand the z and there's p attributes in there but it's very abstract thing i don't like about this and i think a lot of designers will agree uh is that you've got too much detail here these should not be there you've added these blocks in to be more abstract now what i would suggest the definition of logo design to be is when you take away those blocks so they're not as so you're not looking at more things when you add more and you zoom out you can see there no one can really see them it just looks a bit strange and pixelated but when you zoom in you can so we're looking for designs that you can zoom straight out of and look very small that's one tip for anyone if you can't see it when it's tiny it doesn't work when it's big so we've got pantone so you've used mully uh, applications let's have a look at your app so your app here I like the look of it. I guess it's very busy. See this arrow at the back with the icon as a pattern. That needs to be lower in transparency. Let's have a look. Download the app today, Payzeal. Get it on Google Play. I like that. Doing this sort of presentation work works well for clients. Clients love to see their work in real life, especially if they have no designers on the team. Um, showing presentations like this sort of bridges the gap between fantasy and reality for them. And it can help sell your idea. So we've got Payzeal here. Really nicely placed and mocked up business card. I like the brand values you've got in there with the Instagram and Facebook in there. You've also got Wilma Peterson. You've got to have that. <laughs> Wilma, <laughs> Wilma <laughs> PZ at email.com. Very nice. I love that. Um, one, two, three, Zeal Roes. <laughs> the Payzeal. Cool. I like that. I like your composition on there. And again, this is huge for clients. If you're working for a massive corporate client, having these mock-ups are huge for them. So it's looking good. It's going well. 
I like the, well, th these icons are a bit, I don't know, they're a bit hard on the eyes. I think you've got to work out your placement within them. Get rid of the circles is what I would say. Um, and I don't understand that. I think, that, is that your logo? Is that like a composition, like um, an adjunct element value? Um, no, it's cool. All in all, I think I like it a lot. Looks very nice. Guys, if you're into the stream, I just want to say really quickly before we move on, if you enjoy it, please share it. YouTube are doing this weird thing where they don't share it to all my subscribers anymore, so it's sort of down to other people. I've just put it out on my Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, have you put it out on yours? I did a, I did a little story about um, me pretending to be you um, and stealing your identity. Cool. Nice. So, basically... <laughs> oi I'm just checking to see the amount of people in on the stream. So, yeah, share it on Twitter, share it on Facebook, do what you can, get people in here, especially when you know they've been on Come Design With Me before. Friday night party. So that was Adrian. Well done, dude. You're, you're in, kind of. Uh, so we've got Adweight. Resubmission. How do you say his name? Adweight. Adweight, yeah. Adweight. Adweight. Just load that in. So this is a resubmission from one of the videos. So let's have a look. So there's his Instagram or Twitter. I'm not too sure which one it is. At Adweight Designs. Um, so let's have a look. So first of all, I can remember. I can actually remember your logo, dude, when it was first made. Uh, this is a ton better. You've done a better job. I like the gradient. And there's a few things in here that I want to change. Uh, but I like the concept overall. The first thing I want to change is... You've sort of cut this out, and I can tell. Uh, there we go. You can see that. Ungroup. Let me just ungroup. Keep ungrouping until. Wow, there's a lot of groups. Okay, there we go. You've got a new member. I've got a new member. What's his name? The Shepherd. The Shepherd. Thank you so much for becoming a member. What tier of membership was he? Uh... Does it say? Mm. Does it say? Or is YouTube broken still? It might just be me being computer illiterate. Nah, that's cool. Let's have a look. Dun, dun, dun. Well done, The Shepherd. Thank you so much for becoming a member. You're part of the family. You will be drafted into the exclusive Facebook group. Uh, and you get all the perks, which is insane. So don't worry. We'll draft you in. It's going to be good fun. All right. So I'd wait. Let's have a look. Yeah, so what I was saying before is you see this, there's too many hard edges here. Bring that out like so. You want to make it as easy for the viewer as possible. So that's the idea, especially like in this work. You see here, this kind of looks straight. So let's make it straight. Get an, get like a guide in there. Let's make this straight. Oh, wow. You've got loads of anchor points here too. We need to fix this. So a client wouldn't take that because you've got a lot of things. It's easier if I go into outline mode and show you. You've got a lot of like these little breaks here. You see where the anchor points splay? You need to fix that. There's a few ways of fixing it. We're going to fix it like this today though to make it easier, to make it more rounded. Um, you see these parts here? There's too much of a curve going up here. They, don't, they shouldn't have curves there. But you've got also got this presented in a strange way. I love the concept. But if you're giving this as a presentation, which I'm pretty sure this is just because of the competition and you didn't, you know, you, do, you don't have to spend loads of time in it. But you want to make sure that the other designers in-house can play with this easily. So you want to show them exactly how to do it. But dude, I love your concept. So the typography here is very generic. Uh, I would have maybe have gone to something a bit more unique. And also, let's just go into the ungroup here. So we'll ungroup them. Uh... Forget about the gradient. I've just ruined the gradient. We need to bring these in. Again, all about that composition and kerning. There we go. Group them again. Let's bring that. There you go. There you go. That's much better. That's so smooth. This here. Bring that down. Your logo doesn't need to be the biggest thing. Sometimes when it's just perfectly placed in the middle. Let's try it like this. So we'll just bring it into the middle. When it's perfectly placed into the middle, it works the best, in my opinion. Um, let's have a look here. P plus Z equals lightning bolt. I like the idea. The idea works really well, but again, let's just fix this for you. Because I feel like we can do a lot. 
with this if we can round it off. And maybe the ends are too sharp. So I would like d sharpen the ends a bit just so it doesn't look too sharp on the pointiness of it. Or even maybe get rid of this part. You don't really need that bit in there. Cool, cool color palettes. Let's have a look at the Instagram. I like how it's verified. That's a great thing, financial <laughs> service. Again, you guys do really well in the art of selling. In the app, not seen one of them yet. Yeah, I like it. That's the first time I've actually seen one of them, so well done. It's really important to see whether the app icon works in the app store, because that's why people are downloading it for free, right? It looks really legit. Like, that adds an element to me of, like, looking trustable yeah trustworthy not trustable like a pay <laughs> trustable i mean the colors look like paypal but it works like the actual the way that you presented it here actually works well mm. anything like else it. you see with that naomi naomi you're not a designer but you are very creative i'm not a designer but i can tell a good logo from a bad logo because uh anytime we see a bad logo <laughs> when we're out and about i get told about it so <laughs> Nice one for Wilma Peterson. What's she called in real life? Well, not in she real life, but... She is from the Flintstones. Pop quiz, everybody. I can't think of a name. Put it in the chat. We'll find out. But that was what it was. Is it, That's is it Wilma? Is it Wilma Oh, wait. Flintstone? It might actually be Wilma. Is it really Wilma Flintstone? I won't, I'm not going to search for it. But <laughs> there you go. Cool. So here's the cards for the creative business cards. So I like the presentation of that. I like the, oh, I like this part as well. You've done a really good job here. One thing, though, when you're doing this, make sure it's really transparent. Get it down to 10. It is, Wilma. It is. It is. <laughs> yeah, so from 10, so from 20 to 10, that looks a lot better. Or even, even 5. Because you're showing this, it needs to be really, really transparent on there, but you can still see it. But I like that. You've got good compositions here. I would maybe just... You know, maybe move this down ever so slightly. Move that down ever so slightly. Um, you know, you can add more icons here, like, you know, telephone and fax and stuff like that. But I understand your gif. That's good. Well done, dude. Guys, go follow this guy online. He knows what he's doing. GG. Well done. Well done. Next one. What is it like? Only a thousand more to go? 69? 68? <laughs> oh, dear. We're going in alphabetical order, by the way, guys. Um, just because that's where my file folders are. So this is from Ali, whoever you are. So this is just looks like a big knockoff of PayPal, but I'm going to look at it differently. Uh, PayPal looks very similar. I understand why you did it, because it you're taking something that has previously worked. Do you not agree? I just don't think it looks... Professional. as neat as it could do i'm talking about the typeface oh yeah that, yeah, that looks like paypal yeah. yeah so the icon needs a lot of work so when you're presenting this to someone the first thing i'll go in order of like functionality when you're presenting this to a company like this you need to make sure these are not stroked i can see strokes inside of here the way that you present these files will mean whether they work with you again the designers want you to do this easily um the logo and icon is way too complicated, in my opinion. You need to be less complicated, have less points in there. I understand it, but you need to work even more on simplifying that icon, if that makes sense. What are the chat saying? Not about this, but around the whole thing. We've just got those people saying hello and chatting. Hey, guys. And Yomi's here on the stream. I like it. I'm here. Yeah, and I'm saying don't forget to share the stream with your designer friends. Yeah, do it. I'll, I'll have to make a video about YouTube recommendations, but things are going weird. Um, regardless, let's carry on. So, your yeah, icon, yeah, you need, there's too much going on in here. Uh, I like the, the actual typeface, though, but it does look too much like PayPal, and we need to differentiate ourselves from them a little bit, which you have done kind of down here with the colours. What if you filled in the squares on that top? Right one. What if you filled them in with blue? No. No? No. Would that look weird? Yeah, you don't want to fill a logo into different colours. That's the main thing. This is why I'm not a designer. <laughs> well, with logo design, there's like, it's a bunch of principles. It's not exactly like... It is an art because you're trying to simplify things down. Yeah. So, if you think about it, it's so difficult to simplify something down into such a simple place 
where they can actually see it, look good, memorize it, everything like that. Mm. So it's got to win everyone over and you're like doing a service for your client. So it's important to have it as simple as possible so it works. And when we talk about logo design, it's about a function, not an art piece. So it's a bit difficult, but yeah. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Very cool. Something. cool right so yeah that's what i would suggest dude make sure it's simple i've just said it all to naomi um the i appreciate the work just got to simplify that down when people look at it they'll definitely see a z and a p in there i can see the p down here in different ways but it's got too many lines it confuses people and people won't be able to draw it a good test of time in a timeless logo is one using geometric shapes which you've kind of done here but two drawing it out in 10 seconds or less getting someone to look at it for two seconds and drawing it out in 10 and that's what sort of like shows the simplicity and the effectiveness of a logo design awesome on to the next is everyone enjoying the stream I... yeah everybody's chatting away any cool comments we oh martin says the z is twisted on that last one i didn't see that um, hello from South Africa, from Makeko. I'm really sorry if I've said that wrong. Makeko. 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 <laughs> the icon looks like Z D Z P maybe. Image House is enjoying it. Good. Happy Hi, days. Image House. We've got some happy chappies in the chat. We've got a lot of happy people in the chat. That's Ooh. great. Awesome. Guys, I'll be doing this periodically just because new people are dropping in all the time but if you want to become a member it starts off at like two pounds a month and then you get loads of perks you get to a facebook group and everything else join if you want to if not no biggie it's great to have you in here it's just for people who uh, are able to or want to correct i might become a member you're not a member of my channel. Well, I could just give you the money, to be fair. Well, it's, it's you, In my real wife, life. She, she, she <laughs> works for me. So. Well, I'm paying myself a membership. I'll be tithing back my paycheck. <laughs> That's right. All right, so this next one is from uh, Ong. A-U-N-G. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but let's have a look. So, again, uh, big problem with the typography. So, I'm going fast. So, don't take this as brutal. I'm just being fast. A big problem with the typography that is way too generic and it's too thin. So you've skipped like two weights. Don't do that with the typeface. Don't do that. That's uh, You want this to be slightly thinner or just a different color. Basically what I'm saying is the contrast is too much. There's two problems here. So you've probably chosen the same typeface, but one of them, the zeal, is in full uppercase. So it's full caps. And then it's also probably a regular weight and it's yellow and then the pay is in full well not full but upper and lower case it's in blue and it's probably extra thin uh, as well and it's blue so that means there's too much contrast and people have got too much of a separation there's not a family in there uh, and it sort of like translates to the rest of your work as well in a nice way i love your icon actually your icon's very clever um <laughs> because it works actually really well um uh, yeah i think there's a few things you could do with that but that's a really simple way using negative space to create the icon with the positive space around it in colors very well done i like the look of that let's have a look at the typography you used acumen acumen's a great typeface i like it smartphone you've shown me on here now so one thing i would suggest and i don't want to assume it of you but if you're doing this for an actual client, make sure you spend a lot of time here on the process or the, not the process, but the presentational things, the advertising. Again, mock-ups and things like this. This is about showing the client and bridging that gap of fantasy of what it could be to what it is. And showing mock-ups shows the client instantaneously and completely free of printing or anything what it could look like if you do it like this it's not going to work as well because they will just equate this design which could be the best design in the world to this simple layout so just a little bit of forewarning and it's something that i've had to deal with in the past too so i would i would just watch out for that 
Right, Naomi, any other comments? I'm going to ask for comments every time I switch. Well, the comments tend to be about the one that you've just talked about, so... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's because of that stupid delay. I tried the, to get rid of that. Yeah, because there was a little bit of delay, but um, Martin was saying that the pay was a bit too close to the zeal, so they're yeah. a bit too squished together. I think I agree with you on that one. It happens. A lot of, like... Yeah, so the biggest... If you want to become a good designer, you've got to know typography. And that's why I was in the fortunate position of like, you know, learning hand lettering and type design and making fonts and stuff. Because like, you know, that's what really makes you a great designer. Everything else comes after that. Knowing how, no, knowing how to communicate is a really important thing. Cool. Right. Who's this from? This is from Brad. Now then, Brad. Good to see you here. Right, let's have a look. So you've got a very interesting typeface here that is being created and modified. So, ooh, I'm a bit confused. I am a bit confused. Right, first off, I think, ooh, I've got a spider actually on my desk. And it's Where? one of those jumping spiders. Isn't it? Oops, where's he gone? He's there. Where? Don't hurt him. I'm not trying to hurt him. I'm trying to get him away. Him you stay there. He's all right. He's fine. We like spiders. He's just one of those ones that I know will bite. Just because I'm freaked out a bit now. He's near my wrist. Um, so, Brad, this one here, you've got, you've got me a bit confused because I don't understand the icon. Let me just try and find out what it's about. So the drawing between the E and A is to represent a connection and a nod towards the technology of transferring funds. Okay, so you've gone very conceptual with this, so you've gone very sort of abstract. Let's have a look at your typeface. Your kerning is perfect on the P to the A to the Y to the Z. Uh, one thing that I would stay clear of is this. I understand now. Okay, I understand now. So the problem is with this, dude, is that... You've got too much overlap here. There's not enough space. So when you squint your eyes, let me just show you something cool for a second. Let's go into effect, go into blur, gorge and blur. What I like to do is blur this out. So you, so it looks like you're squinting. Now, when I bring this out, you can, you can read it because we know what we're talking about. But the big thing is normal people won't be able to read that because there isn't enough space in between these lines. It's important that in a logo design that if you could add something in and you don't need to just don't add it in i would have just preferred the e and the a not connected at all that being said i do love the actual a and the typeface choice that you've chosen it's very friendly but you know kind of corporate too i'm getting paranoid from this spider now <laughs> spider came to design with you with anderson oh dear i didn't invite that spider to design with me it was pretty insane all right, so you've chosen all this. There we go. Again, I love your website design. That looks really cool. Big, massive page here to show people on the presentation. App, business card looks, yeah, nice. You, you, I can tell you've been reading the emails. Wilma Peterson, founder. Um, yeah, I like it. Well done. I like this as well. This is really cool. So brand elements. This is something that caught my eye straight away which was seeing the different brand elements and what you can bring into this. So you can see here, like the, the shadows here are making this look 3D and that's a really clever way of doing it. I like that, that could be a really, it looks like Spotify to me though, but like it looks unreal, I love the style of that. That's probably my favorite thing you've done, dude. That is awesome. Naomi, what do you think of that? Looks 3D. Yeah, looks 3D. I, I think it would work really well. The problem is I see things in what they could work as, not in what they are. What, what are you laughing for? <laughs> it's like, you know, I've had an epiphany. It's 3D. It is 3D. Yeah. It's probably a special word for it. It's, yeah, it's called 3D. Some people, we've got mixed reviews on this one, actually. Some people yeah. like it, some people aren't keen. I like that 3D element, but um, I'm not sure if it speaks... Yeah. Money transfer to me particularly. But it yeah, and the E and the A bad. doesn't make it easy either. Yeah. But, but it's I do it's a different concept for sure. We've had is. some that are just very, very similar to each other. So to have something a bit different. I like different. I don't, like that. the thing is if you want to be a designer that's good, don't be afraid to fail. I failed more than most and I will do. My challenge is to fail more than most people. Right. Chris N, whatever your name is. 
Let's have a look. Oh, again, another really simple one. Okay, so first thing I can see, Chris N, is obviously the color. But let's sort out your kerning. Let's do this really quick. I'm going to bring Paisil back up here, and we're going to make it white, if I can. No, I'm not, because it's done in a different app, I think. Um, okay, let's sack that. Let me try it again down here. Sorry for all the clacking. I've got my mechanical keyboard on me today. Right. Kerning. Bring that in. Bring oop, that in. Bring that in. I'm not making things tight. I'm just making them work. With tight face like this where it's got a serif form in it. You've got to make sure it kind of works. So the first thing is I don't think companies would pay... To have such a wavy type face for this. So you, you can see already, by the way, how much better that looks when it's kerned correctly. Do you not agree? Eric says that he doesn't reckon the font works no. well for this one for money transfer. And Yash says it's similar colours. Image house, yeah, it's not really working yeah. for him. There's, I think That's I what understand I said, what, they're, yeah. what they're saying, yeah. Um, but then Nikolai really likes this one. It's very simple. And yeah, it looks like pie, doesn't it? The like three point. One six blah 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 blah. You know the symbol for pi. Oh, like that. Mm. Okay, I get what you mean. Yeah, the typeface doesn't work for this, in a general sense. Um, it's too wavy. It's not normally with corporate things. You and you're trying to be creative in like this sort of way. It's important to have kind of like um, oh, what's it? It's important to have like straight lines in there and having something too wavy and too abstract looks cheaper and it doesn't look as good is what I could say. Um, but that being said, your icon, let's have a look at that. So this needs to be lower. There you go. Boom. It needs to be the sort of the same thickness as your type. That's one thing that people forget is to make it into a family it needs to be the same thickness as the type. So I've moved it too far. Image there. House says maybe to... to um rotate the icon a bit so it would look like a p so that way no other way sorry i can't like a p like that that would work well mm. by itself that looks better already it does that works good by itself let's try and play with it good shout look at this watch this Naomi. i'm watching magic you're a wizard you're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? I'm a what? <laughs> Much better. Yeah. Just sort out that icon. And again, another thing that I've been seeing a lot of people do is rounding off corners, which is something that I used to do a lot. Uh, don't do that. Stop rounding them. Unless they're needed to. Extend the roundness or get rid of them. Uh, um, by that, I meant what I was doing there. Is extend the roundness exaggerate it or don't do them at all because people's eyes like an abrupt stop mm. um if that makes sense all right yep colors work but yeah that's what i would say i can't remember your name chris uh, i can't like it's it's good when you fixed it but there's like the main things that i'm going through with you guys i try to remember so i can like not fix you but like fix the situation because we've worked with clients and over the years you know we know exactly what they look for and you know other channels do it too but you know i'm trying to be very literal like if you were to sell this to me as a client because mm. this is what it's about right well, it's just about getting feedback and, and tips isn't it you yeah. know you can take what will says in this and apply it to your own work you know for real clients that you have or for building your portfolio you know, just because it's specific to this, it's, you know, like you said about sharp edges and what the eye likes, yeah. you know, all these tips, jot them down, take them away, use them. I would, I would like timestamp it uh, because it can help like things you don't learn at uni, right? Absolutely. Right. On to the next. How many more to go? <laughs> Dan resubmission. Daniel Young. Daniel Young. I'm sure he was in the chat. Are you in the chat? Oh, I remember you. Is Daniel Young in the chat? I think he might have been. This is the cool one that I did with Brandon in the last live stream we had a look at. I yeah, remember. so this is his resubmission. So this is his resubmission from what I said. Yeah. 
Cool, that's I, good. I think so. I don't know. My brain might have been going a bit <laughs> fuzzy at that point. Oh really? <laughs> if if yours is on twice, yeah. Double, <laughs> double, double, double the double the gold. Cool. Right. So let's have a look. You got the brand assets up here. It's gonna like slowly load in. I think. Maybe I should zoom out. Is there a way for me to zoom out? We'll just we'll just do it like this. I want you guys to see. I might even turn off my camera for this one. So you guys can see. All right, so I've turned off my camera so you guys can see the full picture. Cool. So you've got this party thing going here. You've got the Z and you've got the actual party thing. So I was a bit confused last time about this party thing that was going on here. The, this party thing, me and Brandon weren't like too keen on, but you've got it. Ooh. Yeah, Daniel's here. Check that out. He is in the chat. I don't know what it is, but it blows me away, stuff like that. It's like a party popper. Yeah? Like, celebration. Celebration. Excuse me. <laughs> you me singing. Right. <laughs> so, one thing I would say, Dan, I've got me this in full screen. You can't, can't really see my face. But I love the colour concept you've got going here. It is really depth. I want to I wanna move out. Can I? Oh, there we go. Now I can see it. So... This is a really clean presentation. So you've actually shown me, the client, uh, the passion and the trust. So from the red to the blue. And this is great for the designers. I don't know if anyone knows, but when you work in a house, it's important to have someone able to tell you why these colors are here. And any designer in-house would know, especially with the logo there, how it feels to get paid. There you go. So you've explained that, which was the big thing that I said last time. And I even remember it. I was thinking about this the other day, actually. How important it is for something like this with all these brand attributes to be explained. I can literally imagine going down on the underground in London and seeing like that on a on one of the advert boards, like one of the little screens as you're going up the escalators. I can actually imagine watching that like with all the colours and the party poppers and whatnot. Yeah, it's like when you see a load of Squarespace ads, right? <laughs> yeah yeah literally <laughs> let's have a look okay this is what one thing that i gave you kudos last time was this which is insane it looks amazing let me zoom in here um can you guys see that well there you go hopefully you guys can see that better now but what i love about this is the noisy background with the gradients it makes it look really professional it doesn't look boring to the eye the color that you've chosen isn't just pure white the shadows and everything is just just right. And this is probably one of my favorite ones that I've seen so far. Let's keep going. So this is a resubmission who's going to be changing things. Um, again, it looks amazing. On the phone, it looks great. I like the look of that. The color scheme, everything is so simple. It works as well, as we can see here on the left. It works in just white, which is nice as well. How it feels to buy something new. So you've, you've gone for this celebratory thing, That's right? Very clever. Because it is, it is psychologically, it is a, you know, it is something that people celebrate doing, isn't it? And yeah. it, it feels good to buy things. It, it feels does. good to... Consumeristic society. Well, yeah, it does. But it's how we're wired. It's not inherently a bad thing. Yeah. No, it's good. It looks amazing. You've got a pop socket there. Love a good pop socket. I had like 10 of them when I went to VidCon. I met with a <laughs> pop socket, what was it, representative, and he gave me 10 and I gave them all away to different YouTubers. Yeah, mine popped off and my phone fell on the floor. <laughs> I don't trust them anymore. The that rhymed. Phase, you are? That rhymed. That rhymed. You should be a rapper, like right, Post right. Malone. Right, buy, donate. I like these buttons. I like them. Ah, and this is the cool part here. So you've shown us what it would look like in the tube. Have you seen that, Naomi? Hmm? Ah! Yeah, <laughs> how weird is that? Well... I'm just psychic, or maybe I saw it. Sub subliminally, must have gone in when I was going through. That's insane. No, dude, well done. I'm just going to turn me back on so you can see me. Well done, Daniel. My face. Oh, this is difficult with two monitors. Is your face gone? Ah, uh, my face is there, but the problem is I keep getting these weird things. Is my camera? Camera on. There we go. David Pruitt says he's thought about making a logo in Microsoft Paint in all its cheesy glory. It would have been the world, the word zeal. But the eye was replaced with a fishing pole and it caught a dollar sign. Do you know what, David? That sounds like the kind of thing I would make and I think it would look really good and Will would be... Uh... Jealous. 
Sure. I'd be jealous. <laughs> no, that's cool. I'll do it. <laughs> I wanted to try and coral paint in a video just to see what it was like. I'm going to open up your actual AI presentation as well just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Oh, this would have been easier. So good. It is really good. You've well done, done such a good job here, dude. Like, the way that you presented this as well is like bang on. Like you've really thought about this. I really like this one. Really like it. Fabulous. Fabulous. I am being a little bit mean, guys, because we have got 70 to go through. So if you really desperately have missed the deadline for today and you want yours to be on, you're going to have to super chat, super chat or become or a member. Become a member yeah. and, I'll, and I'll be really kind to you then. So Naomi's but, organizing it all, basically. But for Will's brain's sake, I am being a bit mean and I'm not just going to be taking on 100 more. Yeah, because you've got quite a lot to get through and it does annoy me that I can't do it all, but it, it is what it is. Oh, missing fonts. Okay, no worries. We'll just change that later. So this is from David. Uh, David I. I don't know your name. But first of all, your color presentation is really cool. Really like, what is that? Is that like a pink, purple? Yeah. It'd be like a pink or purple, wouldn't it? It reminds me of Firefox and I don't know why. Yeah. I actually had that thought as well. And if you turn it, if you look, the points make a Z. If you look at it on the side like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get that. Oh, yeah. It takes me ages to do these things, and I'm a designer. Right, let's fix this. First thing, I'll be your fixer today. Let me bring that out a little step here. I'm always like, people wonder, and I've had comments of people like, oh, you kern wrong. I don't, I kern correct. The reason why is because I'm trying to do it as a logo type. You kern them differently for logo types than you do for typefaces. Um, but, dude, your color is really nice. There. I love the fact that you haven't gone for full black. That is a huge win in my case there. Uh, I like the icon. Works really well. Works well big. Works well small. Ah, look at that. That's the app icon. That looks really cool. That is actually really nice. And it works in the background here. Dude, this is awesome. Wilmer at gmail.com. <laughs> I like how people are getting on board with the Wilmer. I love Wilmer. She's great. I yeah, can I just imagine her being like 40-year-old, it's what I... heels, proper <laughs> sassy. It's what I would be called if I was younger. <laughs> Not younger, just born as a girl. You'd have been Wilmer. That's what I meant. Hashtag dyslexia. Naomi right and then. Wilmer. Yeah, Wilmer. Peterson. Wilmer Peterson. <laughs> how did we come up with that? Right, so let's read this. So here's the concept. People are loving I'm... this one. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really bright and nice. So let's read this. Uh, dyslexic trigger warning. So the logo has been designed to represent Paysiel's core service of offering their customers effortless transfers between bank accounts. The transfer symbols unite in the center of the logo to form a lightning bolt, symbolizing the passion and energy that is at the center of the business. The palette was chosen in keeping with the theme, utilizing energetic energetic red and pink colors along with purple often associated with ambition and wealth simple transfers plus passion and energy equals that zeal and this is the dictionary def great energy or enthusiasm in a pursuit wait in pursuit of a cause or an objective awesome i love this this is just probably the simplest one yet that's really cool, dude. You've done a really good job there. That looks really nice. That That is really cool. I don't know what else to say, really, aside from that. I've got nothing else to fix aside from, like, obviously, when I fixed your kerning right there. I love the... Is that a subtle gradient? Is that a gradient or just one colour? It's just, it looks like a gradient does, when I'm looking at it? it. But I think it's just because this is tricking it's my like eye. It's like a gorgeous, like, cherry. Yeah. Mm. Well, because it's, like, tricking my eye, isn't Beautiful. it? Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's go. It would look good on a t-shirt, I agree. Yeah, it would do. You should have a mock-up of that, dude, on a t-shirt. I haven't seen one of them, I don't think, yet, in the Paisio one. Oh, we haven't seen it on a t-shirt, have no, we? Yeah. We've seen some real-life mock-ups of marketing, but what about, at, like, you know, apparel? Not that every day you would buy, like, a Paisio t-shirt for apparel or something, but... Mm, it's true. Know. You never know. Ninja dolphins, yeah. <laughs> Ninja dolphins. It All is right. a bit dolphiny, actually. Now you said that. It's cool. It's Next one. Elements. I'm not saving these guys, otherwise, the computer will be working too hard. D pack. 
not two pack. William George. Sorry. Right, we've got some just normal images here, I think. Okay, we can go through them. Um, again, I will turn off my camera so we can see this. Right, is this a designer thing or is this just a me thing? Like, when you want to see your, you know, potential brand, you want to have a phone that's charged, surely. Like, that's the first thing that I notice is that yellow because the phone isn't charged. <laughs> is that a designer thing? I or don't know. Or is that like a... You know how people sell clocks? I think mean, it's just a mock-up, to be fair. 10 past 10. Yeah. Or smiley face. Well, the Apple used to have it at like... Was it 10 to 9 or something? On 10 to 10? 10 to 10 because it's a happy face. But that, my my eye goes from the icon straight up to... Oh, no, I need to charge my battery. The fear strikes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like this. This is a resubmission as well, isn't it? It must be. I've seen uh, it before. Oh, I've seen it on Instagram, actually. So that was his first one. I think the other one, if you go back... Go back? Yeah. No, no, yeah, I think right. that's the new one. I think. I'm okay, like, that makes more sense. Yeah, so this is his first one here. Okay, let's just go for that narrative. This one here I like more simply because it works really well in color and it works really well in gradient as well. I like the look of it, it works well. I don't really think there's much else I can say. I mean, the A, I haven't got the Illustrator file. So the E to the A needs to be fixed um, and also the A to the P. That's one thing that I'm seeing over and over again is the E to the A and the one and the uh, A to the P. If you don't get that fixed, then you're sort of screwed um, when it comes to legibility. But dude, your icon here is like one million times better. Are they Would the Facebook agree? colors? No, no, no. Facebook's like lighter blue now. Is it? Yeah. Mm. Like, do you remember they did the app change? But you know, it's very cool, like quite very corporate that one. That this is really corporate. Extremely corporate. But I like that because it's like it's not a bad. No, it's not a bad. I thing. think I like the idea that it looks like a bird and it's flying or a paper plane. Yeah. Freedom. Moving. Moving, and this is sort of stuff that you can say in a branding presentation. That's what I would suggest. I'm glad people agree with me on the whole battery thing. <laughs> it's not just me. <laughs> it strikes panic. Well, guys, the great <laughs> thing about having Naomi here is that she is not in the design industry. I mean, she is because she works for me, um, but... I'm not a designer. She's not a designer. She's she's a, a, basically an administrator of my account. Yeah. Um, not an administrator. What is it called? A director. So yeah. you, you tell me what I'm doing, basically. And the great thing about Naomi is that she's coming from a very consumeristic point of view, but she's also creative in different avenues, like writing books and stuff. So she gives different perspectives, which is really important. So it's like me having my own little focus group. <laughs> but no, it is. It really is, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's great. Like, uh, it's like a layman's view, isn't it? Because I layman's, don't, yeah. Yeah, I don't know the, the tricks of the trade. I just know if I like it or if I don't like it. Yeah, that's it. You... You don't know how to... Yeah, it's one of those things. Sometimes you like logos that I hate. Boss but... lady. Quite right, Richard. <laughs> so... Quite right, David. I run oh, the dear. show. No, it does actually run the show. <laughs> My um, ego is getting so big. Is it really? No. Oh, dear. I'm joking. You're joking. I'm not. Right. Dijon or Dijon or Dijon? Dijon. Dijon. I did a pretty good job in pronouncing that. Next one. Okay, Dijon. Thank you so much for your submission. Let's have a look. Thanks for checking out my stuff, Will. No worry. No worries. Dijon Durham. Are you from Durham or is that your last name? It must be your last name. You can send, receive, or transfer money via your phone number. Stop that. Or without compromising your financial information with the recipient, more secure, and it should be easy. So, first thing, Dean, I'm going to talk about this. So, with Paisil. So, that, uh, when I zoom in, I can see Paisil pretty easily there. But your composition on your first artboard here, this should not be in like uh, outline mode. You don't want it in outline mode because it's going to screw up the way that someone sees it and it ruins the balance. Also, what's with these breaks? Get rid of these breaks. You don't need them. Uh, I understand why you did them and it's because you want to be like a bit different and I appreciate that. But get rid of these breaks. You don't need them in there. That's what's going to ruin it. Uh, also, there's too much stuff here. When you have something like this here, it should be less than the first line. Or it should be composed that way. With should be capital as well. I'm only saying this just because it will help someone, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah? So, the first one here, the P. Um, get rid of these lines. 
make it into more of a P because I don't want it to sort of look like a tapeworm to the client, <laughs> if that makes sense. No, That's I'm not being horrible. nasty. No, I'm not being nasty. I'm just being... A I'm tapeworm. Try- yeah, I don't want to be nasty. I'm not being nasty. I just want to make sure I that... S- I you know, see what they've done with the Z, but it has given it wrinkles. Yeah, because there is a Z in there and it gives it wrinkles. You've got to be literal as to sort of how they first look at it. I like... That's what I'm saying. I like the concept. <laughs> Um, you've done a really good job in presenting this as well. You've shown me a lot of different angles and stuff. Should be easy. All right, so everything should work in harmony. And the problem is it doesn't yet. And that's because of not something that you haven't done. It's because of things you've done. Uh, the reason why other people's have worked is because they've cleanly presented it. It's important to stop doing it. You've worked too hard on this, basically. Stop working so hard and just get the idea out in the simplest form and it will work what are the chat saying to pay worms eel <laughs> who said that that's nasty anderson <laughs> naughty the image house says it needs a bit more work the uh brian yep. reckons the brakes overlaps might work if there's more space and it's a bit more minimalistic i agree with that but the vintagey kind of font doesn't seem to be working for people really it's a, it's very different. It is different, yeah. It is different. I like the retroness of it. Yeah. See this? Retro is not always bad. This is a great example. Let's fix this for you. Helixa Art says, Guten Tag, lads. Guten Tag, lads. Guten Tag, indeed. Oh, I see the problem you've got here as well. I know why you had trouble. You see that? Oh, it's it's gridding on something. Let's have a look. You were gridding on snap to grid. And snap to pixel we're on. You're having trouble there. Mm. Now we've got free flow. That looks a bit better. <laughs> if that was just one P, it would look 10 times better. Just a little bit of editing. But there's a lot of work that needs to be done with it. Get rid of those little lines. I don't care if there's a Z in there. I want it to look professional, basically. Uh, but good job, though. You've done a really good job, and it's really brave to put things like this out. Um, and in fact, I'm going to do a video about my like first designs, too. But you've done a good job here in the color. It looks very Hawaiian, in my opinion, very like orange and fruity, if that makes sense. What are the chat saying now whilst we get the next one up? Uh, well, I said lads, lads, lads. Yeah. Um, Martin says it's good to think intensively about a design while you're designing, like very intensely, intensively, like a hundred about one stroke. I, I don't know what that means. That must <laughs> that must be leet speak for designers. But I, I agree, you you got to look at your work hundred percent and get fresh eyes on it as well. Like Will will sometimes come yeah. and ask me what my thoughts are on like the work that he's done or is doing or say quite often for um, like video thumbnails, he'll be like, would you click on this one or this one? Yeah. And it's, it's normally not the one that he thinks, but the one I think, which is maybe not a, not always a good idea. Yeah, I mean, some of you guys will be subscribed and haven't seen a video in like months because you should uh, doing it well. They've changed the whole recommendation. So like, everything's different now. Everything has to be a lot simpler because everything else has gotten more complex. Yeah. Yeah. This next one's from Elijah, Elijah H, and, oh, crap, there we go, so we've got a Z. First thing, Elijah, I like your process, you've shown it here, good job. Second thing, it's way too complicated, again, you've worked too hard, um, I'm going to keep saying that, that's a really good one. First thing I want to do, I don't think that, that is the final one there, isn't it? Right, get this, bring that, oh, hello, just ruined your design for you. Let's bring this back in. That is exaggerated. Let's get this back in. It doesn't fit in a box, so we want it to. All I'm doing here is getting it to fit into a box. A bit better. There we go. Right, so let's read what you said. So Z plus the arrows equals this. Make sure that you outline your fonts when you send this to someone. <laughs> Just tell them what the font is, but outline them so I can see them properly. Um, I wanted to show the movement in the logo and also a type of transaction happening, withdraw and deposit. Very clever. Since it's a banking app, 
uh, I couldn't decide which version I liked more, so I made both light and dark versions. So I guess I've got to decide which I like more. So the first thing is, dude, you see this icon? It shouldn't be small when it's next to it. So let's just um, ungroup it. Let's grab it. Let's get this up. Bring that up a little bit. Bring it to the right, left. That looks better. So that's one way of looking at it. Let's do the same for this. Bring that up. I'm just roughing it around here. Also, you type get. Let's just ungroup your type actually for a sec. Bring that in. Bring that in. Even though it's next to the cross of that. I'm just going all geeky now. But um, yeah, dude, I think you've got a bit of work to do on this. Just because it is so complicated. Stick with the Z. There's no need for the arrows. I like the concept. If there's a way of getting the arrows to be simpler in the Z, it would make it better, in my opinion. If it works better. Does that make sense? Sure. Yeah, that makes sense to me. All right. I like this. It shows really well. Good marketing. Good design there. Just get this app icon bigger. And it should look 10 times better. Mm. Or even... <laughs> up there Anderson says don't forget to outline your fonts count one yeah yeah that'll be count one I'm gonna do it every time because we should have a bell <laughs> ding just so if anyone doesn't know all you have to do is highlight your font sh control shift or command shift and oh boom outlined that was it that's all you have to do you sound so sexy right now do I no you sound yeah. like a real nerd well I'm married to you so <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job I love nerds don't say that. You'll have all of us at you. Oh, dear. Uh, so, well done, Elijah. That was good. Uh, Elsie? Let's have a look at Elsie. Uh, this is another um, Let's have a look presentation. At I'm going to turn my camera off again so you guys can see it properly. Full screen it. And then we're going to zoom in. Sorry, it's difficult when we've got so many different ways of people coming in. So I really liked Elsie's when I looked through it before i remember hers and you know it's a good design when you remember what what somebody sent in so lovely yeah it looks really good i like the um the blue i like this because it's so contrasting mm. i also like your icons this is really minimal people are loving the colors i agree david says nice presentation, presentation. it is Ooh. Mm. Oh, that's the coolest one. Or oh, one of the coolest ones, should I say. Very simple, but I see the Z in it, and I'm not even a designer. That is so clever. How did you do that? That is like the most simple icon. Arrow, so it's a P, mm. like here, plus the Z in the middle, equals arrow equals that transfer. That's insane. Here's your grid or anyone Grids are king when it comes to presentations, especially to other designers. Grids are king, part one. Grids are king, yeah. Ding, ding. Well, I wanted to make a course about grids as well, because like, it's just so simple to get into. Mock-ups, look at that. The shepherd says it's very simple, but it really works. Have you seen that? Willie says it's effective use of an icon. Yeah, that's what I said to, uh, when I emailed back. Um, I said the, the, the cloud design, that's what I remember. Is that's insane. Sick. That is actually insane. It's almost like, it reminds me of like fiber broadband type. Dude, this is so professional. Who was this? Elsie. Elsie. Dude, you should be proud of yourself, man. That is really, really clever. I'm saying dude, dad. I think Elsie's a, is a lady. Dude looks like a lady. No, I won't. I think she's an old lady. Oh, sorry, Elsie. I say dude to everyone, just so you know. It's not a bad thing, <laughs> is it? No. I like that design, though, and the little card slot that it has to go into. It makes me want that. That item. card design is unreal. It you makes me want such a good that. job there. That mock-up. Again, guys, you see, we all marvel at the idea of a mock-up because it, I will say it again, it takes reality and fantasy. The uh, the chat's going mad here. We've got, got to get the grid in. Looks cool, clean and simple, Matthew says. The mock-ups make everything better. I agree, Victor. Um, the presentation, loving it. Martin says, give me this card. That's literally my thoughts. I want that card. I don't care what you're selling. I want the card. Um, what else cool. have we got? 
when is the come design with me final well today is the big finale live stream and the next well the final episode will be up really really soon where the winner will be announced where the winner will will come to be come to be known but for our finalists if any of our finalists are watching send your resubmissions in so they are ready to go asap rocky please yeah so we will be taking a vote at the end so if you wait to the end we will be taking a vote you yes. have to wait to the end of this and see everyone so and yeah. also if guys just another little plug turn my camera back on you guys will understand it anyone who's been here for the whole thing will understand if not memberships have changed go ahead and press that join button watch that little video about memberships and what you get you get loads of perks including into a facebook group that's private i will be in there you get critique on a daily basis not on, not from me but by other people so it's a really good community right next one that dude that was unreal dude whatever you are that was unreal elsie not dude <laughs> i'm gonna keep saying dude i can't stop saying dude dude right next one closed right let's have a look who's this by uh eric had a few erics right so so you going for a security way hmm, that's insane I did say security in the brief, I believe, so that's good. So we've got security, you can hear the bells outside, but security <laughs> plus to pay zero, so BZ, letters equals PZ. Brand mark, logo symbol, to consist from the letters P and Z. Our vehement purpose and vim for the never-ending pursuit of security with your personal financial data, one member at a time, that is insane. Again, you've gone for a grid, which is very nice. Grids are a great way of showing clients what needs to be said and done over here we've got metro pro i like that oh your icon check no what do you think of that p and a z it kind of what uh what's the what they call what knights have a uh, shield shield mm. it looks cool that's what it is it's a security thing so banking focused on you which is very clever i like this a lot this is a really cool is this done like by golden ratio? It looks like the Fibonacci to me. It looks Fibonacci to me. Elsie's on just popped on. She says she's got other mock ups. Sorry, I know you're on to the next one now. Um in the different illustrator file. I won't be able to get no, them. Because no. I downloaded them. If you put them one. on Instagram though and then tag me in it, yeah. I'll put it on my story and That's then everyone. The best way. Yeah, because after this I'll be putting some the ones that I didn't get to do. Yeah. The ones I've seen on Instagram, I'll be putting them up in my story. Because we have story. still got about 60 to get through. We've got, yeah. But yours was really good. Also. We're going to be here for a while, guys. So you're here for the ride. Share the stream. <laughs> Friday nights with the Patterson. Yeah, it's Saturdays for the boys. Saturdays for the boys. Right, boy. okay. Awesome, dude. Really like it. There's not much I can really say. You've chosen a really well-rounded typeface as well, which shows me security anyway. I'm not sure about anyone else, but no, dude. Very good choice in everything that you've done there. I like it a lot. I do need the toilet. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Can you entertain the chat whilst I go to the toilet for two minutes? Yeah, we can do. Guess Naomi's favorite logo. Of course, yeah. So, guys, I'm going to leave you in the cable hand to my wife for two minutes. Stick around. I'm not going anywhere. Just need a wee. So, guess Naomi's favourite logo. This is uh, this is going well. The only problem is with this is that there's a bit of a delay. I'll give somebody a high five if they guess it right. Oh, we've got some good guesses. NASA, Cadbury's, Lego. I do like the NASA one. I'll give you a hint. It's on packets of crisps, or should I say chips? Maybe that will give you a little bit of a clue. <laughs> Let's see what people think. Just spin wheels chair till he's back. Target logo. No, that's not a type of crisp or chip. Lays. We've got Doritos. Walkers. Walkers is a good one. Walkers is a good one. I just like it because it makes me smile, not because it's the best logo I've ever seen. 
spinning the chair for you there. What's it's no, but I have had what's it's today. And no, I'm not getting in Will's pace because it's sweaty in England and I'm in my pyjamas and I'm sweaty. Merton and Monster Munch Pringles. Dun, 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 dun. Spinning my chair. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Gary won that one. It is Pringles. Pringles what was the competition? is my favourite crisps or chips logo because he has a little moustache and it makes me smile and that's for no other reason. <laughs> that's a mascot, not a logo. Did I just burst your bubble? Yeah. I'm helping you here. You are being so rude. <laughs> I'm literally running the show. Naomi's been running the show, guys. I'm back. Right, we're, that's we're it. Back. I quit. Don't quit. I need you. I'm out. Guys, you're going to see like a marriage <laughs> break about it. I'm done. <laughs> Good one, Eric. Nice work. Who won that one, by the way? What one? Your competition. Gary. Gary. Well done, Gary. Pringles. <laughs> Pringles. <laughs> All right. This next one's from... Four stars, Kersey's. Sounds Russian? Uh, uh, yeah. I copied and pasted that one. Yeah, it's hard for me to pronounce. I don't want to spell it wrong. Right, there's his website, guys, if you want to go check out some of his other work that he's got going on. Let's have a look. So, we've got a nice zesty, fruity sort of logo here. One thing I really like is the colours here. I like it how it's white and you haven't gone full contrast. And what I love as well, the different color combinations. I love this color combination here. It's so contrasting. Stands out so well and it would do in an app icon. Uh, I wish you would have the that one as that one though. There we go. Boom. That would be better. Done. And that one as that one. Boom. Let's just switch those around. Uh, Doom Bartol, what a nice typeface. I like it a lot. Your icon as well works really well. Only thing I would suggest is adding a little shadow in there. And let's do it right now. Uh, if I can remember, let's do drop shadow. Let's preview that. Let's get rid of that opacity to like 40. And let's press OK. That drop shadow makes everything look cooler. I mean, you'd have to work on the spread and everything else. But it looks really good. Dude, honestly, great work. Look at that. That, that icon you can see very well from a phone and you've even got it into an apple watch which is a great thing what do you think Naomi? have the chat gotten to this part yet in our delayed stream um the image house reckons the icon symbols are very superheroish, and i kind of see that like bumblebee man kind of vibe yeah i'm getting the thing is, it's italicized as well. No, but did you know if you italicized Stop a saying bit? italicized you, you did that in your last video and you said like italicized five times What's wrong with me saying italicized? Italicized. What, do you, what italic? Do, I don't know. Is there not a better word? It's italicized. I don't know why it grinds my gears. Well, the logo is italicized, and that means it's all to slanted, and it gives movement, right? It gives it energy and movement, and I like the colors because it is a popping color. Make the design pop, as people say. <laughs> best advice you can ever give <laughs> yeah i want to see if i can actually make a video i might do that for an april fool how to make your design pop <laughs> yeah how to make your that's like another viral video on my hands and i've had a few well you put it in a cannon it'll pop then yeah <laughs> okay we've got Faisan or Faisan. let's have a look oh i've seen this before i think this is a resubmission though yes right so Faisan sent his back in so this is looking really clean. Your typeface is very different as well. I like that. It's got this thing called a tapered center, which is like, it's very old style, right? So typeface is used to, I'm going to actually take my face away again so everyone can see. So typeface is used to do this thing where they taper in the center and it's hard for me to show you. Maybe I can do it like this. So in the center here, it tapers in because it shows like the breadth of the type. So it's hard for me to explain. I mean, try and get Dyslexy to explain it all to you, but um, it looks really good. I like the icon as well, the P. I'm not too sure what it means yet. It looks like a flamingo to me right now, but it does look good. <laughs> what? Um, a Doba Chew says it looks like a Pringles chip. <laughs> it looks like a Pringles chip. <laughs> it does. I like it. That's brilliant. <laughs> well, if you stay around, you'll see the end results. So let's have a look at what he says here. The icon contains a letter P and a gold coin flying away, indicating money transfer. Okay, I remember. Did I tell you to write something like this? Because this is what's making it grow on me even more. For the colors, I chose blue and yellow. 
The yellow color is a sign of power and zeal and also for the golden coin. The blue color indicates professionalism. I used bold colors and tried to make a bold and attractive logo because the company wants to grow in five years. That's really clever. That's really nice. Oh, and I like that. Oh, that color combo. Fresh stack. That looks beautiful. Of shiny cards. I didn't even go through like some of the winners of the old like episodes. I should do that maybe. I'll, I'll save that for your next toilet break. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> a good idea actually. Um, oh, I love this. I love the background and the color thing here. You've got a brand right there. This is like the simplest brand. And w I want to test Naomi out on something. She's not it. right. So, what makes that the simplest brand? Because it's monoline. No brand, not logo. Well, There's what's... no monoline in there either. There is, that chip. What chip? The chip, the P. Oh, the the icon? Yeah, it's just one line. Oh, no, that I was talking there. about the brand. It's the colour, isn't it? What? The colours. Have you seen the colours? It's just two colours. Yeah. Two contrasting... Contrasting colours. Yeah. On the colour wheel. I know that. Yeah, yeah, no, I was saying, that's what makes the brand, not the logo. is in like... When you, when you see these two colours now, the mm -hmm. yellow and the blue, you'll see a brand. Because you associate it. That's what a brand is, yeah. It's an association. But then I thought Facebook was a different blue than it is. But well, you knew it was blue. It is blue. There you go. What's Instagram now? Purple and pink and yellow and that. Kind of, yeah. It's like fluorescent. So, mm. dude, really nice. I really like this. You've got a really nice presentation here of the style and everything you're going for. It's like a rustic but very modern, modern way of looking at it. Well done. Okie dokie, let's read some comments from the chat. So Image House likes this branding, simple and to the point, I agree. Um, Image House branding is complete, yep. Looks um, good. Yes, yes, uh, great designs of the right email. To... So, Yash, if it's a come design with me, Paisy or one, that goes to the come design with me email and for the logo critique series, yeah, send that one to uh, Will at Break Designs. No, Break DZS. Sorry, yeah, so it is. My brain's a bit fluffy. It's like we're on a stream, that's why. Break DZNS, yes. But I don't. Th have you got any logo critiques coming out in the near future? Yes. So, because after this, guys, so let me move into my normal Just Me face. So, after the Series 2 is done, I'm going to spend like a couple of weeks just doing. Um, because we're going on holiday for a bit, so we're going to do just logo critiques. <laughs> Naomi's excited for the holiday. So excited. Uh, we haven't had a real holiday in years, but basically, yeah, we're going to be doing just logo critiques for a while, and then we'll be announcing Series 3 of Come Design With Me, which, again, will be even bigger and better with more results and a bigger prize, right? Yeet. Yeah, and the prize for this is pretty big anyway. It's $200 gift card, but we're, we're going all out, all out on this next one. All right. So we've got GBA Gidbabbo. <laughs> How do you say his name? I'm not sure. Yeah, Let's I'm call them G. Call you G. Rather than offending. I don't mean to offend people. Well, people say my name wrong all the time. It does, it does wax my turtle butt. Wax your turtle. It does. Right. Okay. First G. thing, dude. Let's have a look. So you've gone for a rocket style or a bong pipe style. With the zebra like, print? With the zebra print, yeah. So, first thing, way too complicated. Let's fix this. I like fixing people's work. Let's ungroup that. Bring that down. Now, if I was to make this better, I mean, I'm trying to. I think there's a few fundamental things that need to change. Um, as of right now, which is the detail in the P. So, the concept is there, but... You want it to sort of line up correctly all the way through. What typeface have you got here? You've got Source Sand. Okay. So, uh, this is way too complicated with these lines. You need to get rid of them. Uh, the concept, I don't really understand yet. I guess it's like elevation, which is great concept. So, let's have a look at what you said. If Paysil, a banking app, would survive amidst the vast majority of the banking app that exists today in the modern world, we need to take to break the trend here i have chosen green instead it works and it connotates trustworthiness the logo itself is strong and i'm convinced it's going to be quite memorable very nice so the one thing that i would disagree on is memorability 
in a positive sense just because it's got zebra print in there and it, i think it's supposed to be smoke right but it's too illustrative it needs to be something that smack bang i don't think people can draw that too well because you've got like the flames down here and that those flames would need to be bigger anyway if it was going to be flames but you've also got this sort of pipe thing here so you've got too many hard edges too many things to focus on um you want it to be as simple as possible is what I can say. Your typeface choice though, other than that, let's try this. This would actually be better. Let me fix this up for you. Oh, if I can, if, if it would let me. That would be a lot better by itself because that's a very clean typeface right there. That's what people would look for. Even just sending that would be great. So dude, well done. Just go out to the drawing board with the icon. Like, I think you've done a great job with choosing the typeface, but the icon needs a lot of work. I agree with that. Good typeface, bad icon. Yeah, and I actually really like that typeface. It's really mm. nice. And the color choice as well. You've done, that's actually really... Can I just say, guys, the color choice of the is different, and it is memorable, the color choice. So, good job. Very nice. Very nice. What did the chat say? Um, Anderson said, it's a zebra, question mark. It did look... It did have zebra stripes on it. Uh, ever thought about making a Discord server for designers? I do have one. We do have I'm one. I'm just never on it. I went on it not too long ago just to check in. Yeah, it's called Creative Corner, but I'm, I've am i got a new community coming out, one that I can spend a bit more time in, which is the Facebook one that's just mm. been, just literally came out today. It's for members. So even if you become like the lowest bronze tier member, you yeah. come to this community where you can get things critiqued. And that's like, what, £2 a month? Yeah, so you're in Britain, it's two pounds a month, which is nothing. Well, yeah, exactly. I'd send, I'd spend more than that on a sandwich, and that. Yeah. So what do they get out of the Facebook group again? So you get like critiques, you get a community. It's closed off to anyone who's not a member. It's just for people who want to do better in design, talk about cool. struggles they have, maybe have direct contact with me in the group and stuff like that. Two pound, not bad. Not bad. That was a good advert, Naomi. No, we cannot submit any more, unfortunately, for this contest unless you're wanting to super chat or become a member, like Will's just said, because it was deadline day. Don't send your work past the deadline. And we've got too many to do. Yeah, we've got loads. So here's the next one. So we've got Heidi Adam. Heidi Adam. I apologize if I'm saying your name wrong. So first thing, Formula One is what I can see here. And the reason why I say something really quick at the start is because that's my honest like thought when I look at these logos and I look at a ton of them. It's very the blue the blue and the red together, I can imagine that on like a nineties like puffy jacket. It's cool though. Yeah, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that's what, what springs to mind. I wanna change this why. I wanna change it, I'm gonna do it. It's gonna change it really quick. Cause I feel like it needs to be fatter. Ooh, that's better. I screwed up the bottom bit though, but that looks so much better. Do you, I love your typeface. That is really clean and professional. I like the colors as well. And that's not surprising because it is blue and red. Uh, your icon here is very sharp and looks like more of a motorist, motorist company. You We've know. got a new member. Oh, what's his name? Ren Renato Fernandez Ferrari. Ferrari. <laughs> Ren Ren Renato, Renato. We apologise. We're really not being able to read I your name. Is that our tenth member? That's probably our tenth member. Yeah. Wowzers! Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club, dude. You'll be in that Facebook group and chatting away. Thank you so much for taking part. If you guys can't become a member, just subscribe. It's all good. It's yeah, just, subscribe, like, comment, be kind. Like we're trying to be all things to all people here. So yeah. thank you so much, dude. By the way massive appreciation it helps support me and i think the more you guys support me the more i can do for you and we love you all yeah so back to this one before i forget what i was going to say but thank you uh is <laughs> that this looks like a formula one old style logo it's very i like what you've done the p and the z uh, i like the colors and i like the fact that it's in a circle if you were to simplify us down for instance you see this part here that does not need to be cut Cam's giving you ten pounds. Oh wow! You guys are going super ham. Chat. Thank you so much. Love that a is good super chat. 
Is that for, for them to see, show some work? I'm not sure. Let me know, Can, if you want yours to be popped on and I can do that for you. Yeah, you know, we can do that for me. Thank She'll organise so it and put it into a folder. And Renato says, thank you for the tips. That's lovely. No, guys, thank you so much. It, I really do appreciate all the super chats and everything that you guys give. It really, really, I appreciate it. It's really nice. So, again, I would say, Hadi, that the the work is too sharp so the, the actual points in the work they're just like it it just uh it's going to take my eye out if i look at it too long it's not in a nasty way but it would look great for like a motorcycle company or like a race car company simplify that down and you'd have a really good logo on your hand see that there the background of this really clean and professional. I love the gradiented gray background. It's like a like a slate gray, and it looks really good, really nice, really nice. Gradient color. You see these things here when you're putting this in there. Don't use a serif one. That looks old. You, that reminds me of old men. Yeah. See. see old so man golf club. That could be just me and you though, because we're British. But old man golf club. Yeah. Yeah, we just had Brandon here in the UK and he's probably seen a few like <laughs> things like that. But yeah. No, honestly, dude, like just change those things. Love your tight face, looking good. But we have to move on. The show must go on. I love seeing all these members in super chats. It's so colourful on the screen. Oh, thank you. I love it. Makes me happy. We'll be know. eating tonight, Will. <laughs> we'll be eating tonight. Not like we wouldn't be, but yeah. <laughs> thank you though. I'm joking. Right. Next one is from Kento Yoshida. Yoshida. Kento Yoshida. Look at that. Instagram, guys. Go and follow. If you put your Instagram in, you get like a free shout. <laughs> I love shouting people. Free advertising. That's it. Right. So we've got the red here. This reminds me of Supreme. I don't know why. Um, even though it looks nothing like it. You've got a really nice looking icon here that works really well. It reminds me of a shipping company. Um, but I can't remember the name of them. I can see the P and the Z in that. Exactly. Yeah, it's very clever. It's just... Mm like symmetry and balance is what's in here and no rounded corners which is what i like uh typeface really good i would suggest that i'm going to be as bold as to say let's just ungroup that right boom less black so when it's on red white and uh black you want the black to be less black so i've gone from this to like a slightly grayer look mm. and it looks better because it's not like as banging on the eyes you know i do that on my instagram stories like what? even like if i'm if i well i put a picture on um the other day about me making a banoffee pie and i yeah. automatically changed it from the black to a gray because the black is, is it's too much yeah it's too much against it like especially with red i mean the red is perfect on this mm. because like you see that that's perfect because it's got the similar contrasting to all of it but you don't want the black to overtake the red so i always go for gray like that color right there that's why it works really well here because this isn't just pure black this is gray uh, like a slate gray sort of okay so the concept so arrow transfer plus the letter p plus the letter z equals this so well done instant knowledge so you don't have to be in a boardroom to teach people this this is great this is great uh let's go to the color something that i'm interested in nice colors you see that black i want that not to be solid black i want that to change to this yeah there boom boom 10 times better already you guys might not be able to see it too it's gentler on the eyes because it's such a sharp design on the screen it looks a lot lighter yeah can i just say so let me try and do it so you guys can see it correctly i've got like a calibrated monitor so it looks a bit different to other people, but it looks a lot gentler when you do that. Um, I love, and when I look down here, it's because I'm looking at my screen. Uh, the website, again, looks really good. You've got the panels in there. Be careful that it's not like a mailing company. I see it looks like, I don't, I can't, I'm not allowed to say the name, but there is a mailing company in there that looks just like. Um, App UI, again. Uh, I would just make this a bit more modern. It, that kind of looks like another company that I'm not going to name. But thank you so much for the amount of money in my account. That's not right, uh, though, is it? What? That's... I don't mind. That looks like I've got loads of money, right? Yeah, but it's not accurate. It's not accurate, but no, like in the way it's done. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't bother me. I just like the fact that you've got 
uh, £200,000 that I've given to John Wick. <laughs> um, <laughs> who have I got a hit out on? And your battery's charged. I like that. Yeah, and, and it's 941. Phone. That's what Apple always do, 941. But it's an old phone. Yeah. I like it. It still works well. Card. Ooh, that's clean and professional. That's very clean. That's really nice. I can tell you're American. Good through. Our cards are a bit different over here, but nice one, dude. Oh, there you go. So this is really clever. Window signage. A lot of companies need this, mm. especially if you're working for a bank or someone like, you know, Payzeal. Having that is important. Instead of the Payzeal there, keep the icon, get rid of Payzeal or make it gray because you can see that there. It looks cheap because it's black. Get it gray. Mm. MasterCard works well because it's got orange and they're displaying orange in there. American Express works well because of the lack of colors. They've just got white. Well, they can do what they want, can't they, really? Yeah. But we're trying to compete with all these. See them? When people look at them, they want to go, oh, I want that one. Right now, I go, oh, I really want MasterCard. What you want to do is compete. Very good. Great job. Great job. Last one, business card. Yeah, business card looks great. Wilma Peterson. <laughs> Any more Easter eggs in here? That's going to be a new thing. You I get love finding Easter eggs in this. Extra week. points for Easter eggs. I love it. John Wick. There's like three in Jackie this Jackie Cook. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well done, dude. Awesome work. And there's his logo. I believe this is his logo. Cool. And a uh, little critique on your logo. See that? Boosh. Fixed. Can't help but mess with people's stuff, can you? I can't, no. But the problem is, when you've got that there, you've got to look at the overbite, is what I call it. So when you've got a sharp corner to a rounded... William George, this is not what you're doing <laughs> tonight. When you've got a sharp corner to the rounded edge, <laughs> move it. Because optically, now it looks straight. Weird, right? Okay. When you look at the optics of things, it's weird. <laughs> optically aligned, right? Very nice. Awesome. On to the next... Guys, for anyone who's sticking around, I appreciate it. We've had a lot of people come in, haven't we? We've had so many people. We've had over a thousand people come in, but yeah. there's only a few of us who stuck around. No, there's quite a lot of us. And I guess it's because a lot of people. Wow, what happened there? Yeah, it says for 10 minutes nobody was here, but they were. Very strange. YouTube is broken. YouTube is very broken. Yeah, apparently for 10 whole minutes at 10, 2, and 6 o'clock, <laughs> you guys all had your tea and came back again. <laughs> It just flatlined. Was it when I went to the toilet? No, it no, wasn't. It just, just happened. It's just YouTube. It's poorly. Yeah. YouTube's gone mental. Right. Lucas S. Let's have a look. Right. So, Paisio, the new way. Oop, hello. <laughs> What's going on here? I can't even read that now. What have I done? Zoom in and scroll up. Um, how do I get rid of this thing? Oh, no. This is not good. Right. Let's zoom out again. Zoom right out. I can't even read that, but dude, I promise. Oh, there we go. Payzeal is a new way to transfer money on mobile devices. I took the idea of energy and movement and translated it into letters by skewing them to the right. The logo, uh, the what, the was the logo. Okay, I'm not going to read that because I'm getting confused. Um, so we've got the logo right here. So the first thing I would suggest is that this logo is not professional. Um, but that doesn't mean it's from lack of trying. And again, I'm going to say it. And I can tell when there's a new designer because new designers work really hard on their logos. When I say really hard, they work too hard. And what happens is, is instead of simplifying, they get into this tangent of like uh, making it more complicated because they think they're doing better. Now, I'm not going to diss your work because there's nothing to diss like in the fact of you're trying. I think what I will say though is, this is where you should have stopped. This is what you should have sent. We have a new member. Oh, uh, we've got a new member. We need a bell bing, or something. Bing, bing, bing. What's the name? Terra. Terra? T E R R A. Thank cool. you so much. Thank you so and, much for becoming a member. And Kento's popped on, said, Thank you so much for the critique. It looks better with the dark grey. Also, thanks for the bonus critique on my personal logo. Thank you very love much. Love it, Kento. Welcome, Terra. We love it. Welcome. Welcome happy, into happy. the club. Welcome to the club. Guys, if you're enjoying the stream, share it, all that stuff. It's good to see so many people loyally being here. It's great. It's great. Okay. So what I was saying before was this logo here, it's not bad. 
in the sense of trying, it's just a company wouldn't have that. And that's because you've worked too hard on it. This is where it should have stopped here, the PZ. And I can see you have you haven't simplified it, you've done the opposite, which is what I used to do when I first started. And that's because you think you're doing better because you're adding more complexity to it, but you're not. So again, for here, so you got the, um, everything here. This is the logo type you should have chosen. This is the icon you should have chosen. Uh, as we go further down, let's have a look. Ooh, that looks nice. I like the fact that you've got that on a real hand. Well done, dude. That looks unreal. You've got some icons here. Basically, we want, I understand what you're doing. You're showing energy and things. We want it to be simple, though. We want to keep it simple. And doing that sometimes means trusting your instinct. And I know, because you started off with the simplest option, that that is the simplest option. You've done such a good job, though, in showing me your process. It's unreal. The app looks great as well. I would change that brown from... Uh, from a sick brown to sort of like a darker brown or like just bump the hue up of the gradient or choose like a corresponding color like the one that you've got in the background there a yellow I can see a yellow in the background just there that's what I would do but good job dude you've done a very good job with that thank you for showing me awesome on to the next how's the chat Naomi yeah going good Tara, if you've got if you've got something to send in, one hundred percent, you are more than allowed to because you are a member. So let me know if you've got something ready. I can pop it on for you. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Apparently, uh, for twenty minutes now, the live stream was uh, had no viewers. YouTube's broken. Can YouTube. you take a picture of that? I need to send that to Team YouTube. YouTube is because like so broke. Too. YouTube keep telling me that they aren't. There's nothing wrong with them. But then, like, stuff like that, it really frustrates me. Um, either way, I'll finish this. Let's go on to here. So we've got Maddie Mayo. I believe I'm saying your name right. So we've got Paisil. We've got this in Spotlight. Okay, first thing first. When I see this, I think avocado, and I don't know why. Let's sort out your typography. I like avocados. I know. So that A, again, needs to go bumped in there. E needs to be bumped in there. There we go. Perfect. Scoop the back over. Oh, you've got a ghost shadow here. You see that? You've got the ghost. This is. Can we get rid of that? Yeah, you don't want that in there. So I like your actual icon, actually. It's really nice. It's very clever. Pay, zeal, two transfers, two arrows. Very nice. I would maybe, this is one time I would actually um round corners the one time if i can there we go uh the one time i would because it looks much better much rounded there we go let's have a look Paisil. yeah your tight face is way too thin get that thicker get that tight face thicker it wants to be a similar weight to the icon and then you want the height of the icon to the left to be similar to the height of the cap of the P. Similar, not exact, but similar. Here's your icon process, I guess, which is boom, 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 P, Z. Yep, very nice. I like the, the fact that you show me the work that you've done. Just make sure that if you want to show like it's good and professional, keep it at a good weight, make it look clean and professional. Look at what other people have done in the challenge and see what they have done. But Awesome work. I love your color choice too, by the way. The green. That's really nice. That's probably why I said avocado. What are you laughing at, Naomi? There's somebody in the chat. What are they saying? I don't know. They're having a good day. It makes me smile. Maybe had a few more drinks in you. I don't know. I don't know. What's he saying? Just spreading a lot of love. Is he? Yeah. What a lovely man. A lovely, lovely. We like love. Yeah, what a lovely man. All right. On to the next. Guys, how many are we in? If you stick to the end, you get to vote. <laughs> <laughs> which we are as you can see here this is my folder we are halfway through oh wow we're doing really well we're on yeah. to m so you can talk about it in the alphabetical order right Paisil, going to hear who's this by this is done by maurice uh, again you need to outline your fonts i can't see it if you don't outline so Paisil. so again this one here you've tried too hard on this one um see that 
does it need to be that that A doesn't look like an A when it's small? You can read it, but it looks like papyrus to me. You don't want that. I like the icon simplicity, but these need to be thicker. So the negative space lines need to be thicker because when it's up here, I just see a circle depending on the color. The upper icon as well should not have any type in it unless the type is the icon. This is just for the icon to, oop, hello. Let me fix that. There we go, online payments, see that? Oh wow, I think you've forgotten something in there. Let me just ungroup that, it's just so I can show you what I mean. A lot of clicking going on here. Clicky, clicky. All right. Oh, hello. That's what I would have done. In white? Well, I've just cut it out. Maybe it should be in black. I think the color choice here is very beige. Don't go beige. Never what? go beige. Yeah, can you change that, like, yellow? Let, let me fix it for you. So the yeah. colors can actually make it a lot. Oh, hello. It's like a damp yellow, that The way that you've got this set up is, yeah. Hello. What the heck? There we go. That looks a bit more professional. It looks too simple, though. Mm. And I don't say that often. But uh, change the typeface, change the icon to something a bit more professional, is what I would suggest. But good try. Good job. On to the next. On to the next one. Who have we got coming up next? Let's see. Oop, uh, that, that was Maurice. We've got Mike G. Mike, Mike G. G is next. Mike G in the house. Mike G in the house. I don't know if he's in the house. Mike, you in the house? That is anybody, in the chat. Anybody seen a Again Mike? with the font. Make sure to outline oh, it. Oh, dear. I'm going to call people out for it. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> Hello, Wilma. Oh, hey, Wilma. Really enjoyed working on this project. After sketching out a few ideas... I knew I wanted the logo to be based on the letter P. I simplified my logo as much as possible and incorporated an abstract Z or Z as the counter of the P. Titling the logo forwards, no, sorry, tilting the logo forwards adds a unique and dynamic feel. It also helps, uh, it also helps unite it with the slanted typeface and adds to the overall feel of the instantness and moving forward, Mike Gist. So I can't see whatever you've got here, dude. I apologize. But we've got it here. So this is your icons work here. This looks like PBS. I'm not even American, but I know the PBS logo. Um, but you've edited it a bit. What I like, I actually do like this logo. This logo is really clever. The only thing I would say, though, is the icon in these colors look make it look baby, uh, too baby. So maybe, like, what I would suggest to do is, if we go into the color palettes here, let's edit all these together, bring that saturation down. Hang on. Boom. So something a bit darker, that's a really bad example, but something a bit darker, I would suggest. Paisil here. I like the typeface. Kerning is basically on point there. The P, if you're going to have it slanted, get it on top. Like this. Let's give it its own space. Let's give this P its own space. Oz Dragon says it reminds him of Pokemon. Yeah. Pokemon. Yeah, like it's got a Pokeball in the middle. Oh, yeah, so it does. Pokeball. Zoom it down. There we go. That's too slant. Let's slant it less. No. Yeah, I don't understand what you're doing. Even if it's here, you could like literally do this. Oh, it's too much like a Pokeball. I do understand what you're coming from here. <laughs> not, not a sentence I thought you were going to say tonight. It's too much like a Pokeball. It's too much like a Pokeball. <laughs> it happens. You should see me, my inner monologue when I'm designing. Dude, I like the typeface again. The color choice is really clean and nice. Works well for a modern bank such as Paisil. Well done. Good job working. What was your name again? Mike Gist or Mike Gist. There we go. Anything in the chat near me? I'm just saying to everyone, share your thoughts on the logo so I can read them out. Yeah, because I, like I like to hear them. Because I'm not actually looking at the chat. Yeah. 
give you impressions or anything that you think that could oh illustrate is crashing this is because someone's and tara me... says sorry to ask so many questions but now that they've become a member how do they join the facebook group so what happens so what happens is when you become a member there's a you'll go into my community post there should be instructions uh when you become a member on how to get your perks so one of the perks is becoming a facebook uh group member to a close facebook group you, there will be a um post tomorrow or tonight on my community group it's just like a little text post that only members can see where you can comment your email for facebook on there when i get your email for facebook on that on the comment of that post that i'll put out it's very easy to see you will be invited in to the group and it's closed. Fab. So that's the easiest way that I found to do it. Couldn't have said it better myself. So that's how it works. So don't worry, you'll get into that Facebook group. And if not, I will hunt you down because <laughs> you, you are a member. So it's easy to hunt you down. We've got Moses right here. Moses near me. You like Moses? Moses. And again, I'm going to fix the type because everyone should know now you should all get this drilled in your head. Fix the type. It all starts with the type in a presentation. That's what people read. I'm going to sneeze. That's me. Silent sneeze. Hey, fever. Reminds me of Skype, Nikolai says. Yeah, it does. It looks very much like Skype. Skype colors, the whole cloudy kind of. So coin tra variety, transparency, hero new. That's a nice font. I like that. Inspirational. I like your business cards too. So your logo, dude, uh, it doesn't work in black and white, but I guess it doesn't matter if it does or not. You've got the actual typeface here. I like the typeface as well. It's very clean. It's very, you know, it is what it is and it doesn't bother me in any way. It looks very nice when it's small. Your logo, though, it should not be a dollar sign. You've uh, you've constricted yourself to American market. Ooh, good point. So that's one thing is the designer you've got to understand because if you're a designer and you're giving it to a client, they may say, oh, I love that font or I love that icon or whatever. But if you've constricted them, your work ain't going to be there very long. So just that, you know, and they might have to change the whole brand. So awesome work. Just look to the future a little bit. I mean... You've got to assume that they might break out into a British market or a Chinese market or Korean. European. Yeah, European, you know, all these different currencies. And right there, that's dollars. So, but well done. Oops, killed it. Wow. But well done. Guys, shout out wherever he is. Go on, Moses. Uh, MSB.P, wherever he may be. MSB.P. I should be a rapper. Rap, 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 rap. Everything. Friday night. Logos rap rap Molly 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 <laughs> <laughs> Right Molly sorry Pays your logo challenge Hello and thanks for the contest Come design me come design with Will Design Challenge Okay close Greetings from India and I'm grateful for the chance to challenge myself in a way to showcase the work to the wider platform. Working on the project has been an exciting challenge and a great experience put together. I look forward to your feedback. And thanks again for the chance to participate in the contest. So, Naz and Molly. Right, let's go into it. Names, you've got a lot of info in here. So, I'm going to read some of it. But maybe not all of it. Um, name the type is simple and legible. Legible. Uh, to suit all digital platforms. And the letter Z has been empathized to get the look and feel of transaction as well forms continuous process between pay and zeal okay so let's have a look you've got this here get rid of that z that z there makes it look cheap you don't want anything that looks cheap or cartoony or anything like that although it does work and i'm not nothing against it it's just that for this style of company we've got to be looking at the western <laughs> markets um which is the problem draculary yeah well it's not dracula it's just very, it's a condensed typeface and when you condense it even further... I like the icon. The icon's really good. I'm yeah. just saying that I can't even touch it. I'm not even going to touch it anymore. Uh, you see this divide here? Get rid of that. You don't need that. Um, you see this? I like this. What you've done here is great. You see the colours? 
there's too many colours in here. Get that one slate colour white. I do like the lay plan kind of vibe to it. It is nice, yeah. Mm. Like that's what like a lot of mock ups are. Yeah. Is to have that laid value to show them it's called stationery yeah yeah with like the branding on like the well the cd so when i'm telling you about my clients even that pen could have the the yeah yeah but you know when i'm telling you about my clients and saying oh well i need to you know send them like mock-ups that's what it is that's all they're doing here and just explain that to me how we're doing on the chat we're good we're just chatting am says how will votes be taken with this many submissions and like i said i really don't know we're gonna figure that out I think Will's got a, a wild card in mind that he would like to put forward to the finals. But hey, if you guys stick around to the end, we might just say vote now. And from what you guys say in the comments, maybe see who really stuck out in your minds. The thing is, There's competitions so like this is <laughs> so they're <many>. difficult to <laughs> do. Competitions are very difficult to do. So the way that be, we want to be fair, yeah. As well. So the way the easiest way to do it would be. If you find someone, remember their name and then comment it at the end when yeah. we tell you to. Yeah? We've got Daniel Fox in. And Nikolai's been here since the start. Wowzers. How long have we been streaming for? Like nearly two hours? Uh, Sure. Why not? Let's mm. go with that. I think it has. We start at five. Uh, an hour and 45, yeah. Wow. That's a lot. Who have we got next? Let's find out. Yep. Yeah. I wish I could spend like ages on these, but it's difficult because I've got so many. We've got Muhammad. I'm going to sneeze again. Do it. No, it's embarrassing. It's funny. <laughs> Here we go. Mohammed from Assad, India. This is my entry for the logo design contest. Come design with me. The logo is simply the representation of the P, the first letter of the word Paisil. The rectangular shape in the logo reflects currency. Blue color is used here because it's the color of trust, confidence, and truth. The font is the go- is from Gotham type family. Nice. Follow me on Instagram, orange.designs. Thank you. No worries, guys. Follow him. Right, here we go. So we've got the P. First thing, letters. Ooh, what have I done? There we go. First thing, that P, this icon here, I do understand it kind of, but it to me, it looks like a bottle that's been opened. Uh, so you've got to be careful for that. Secondly, but probably most importantly, it doesn't look like a family. Um, and that's because it's too thin. So when it's too thin, you zoom out, the type and everything looks a bit weird and different. So you've got to be careful for that. You see this here? Like, it doesn't really speak Paisil to me, that. Yeah, Tara says it looks like a lighter cap being flipped up. Yeah, or like a maybe bottle like flick. A, a chest type thing. This is a good thing to do, though. Have, like, showing what it looks like on different platforms yeah, like in a that. really nice and sleek modern a really good mock-up actually that really good with it's the plants as well yeah it's it's great for this project as well appeals to a lot of people yeah icon that's what i want that icon there filled in never outline it don't bother no need if the type doesn't get outlined don't outline your uh icon like your your icon as a general rule of thumb of course you can break that but there you go very good all right next one yeah, I'd agree with you on that one, Ahmed, about the negative space. Nick, resubmission. Nick Gilby. Fonts, people. Right, I remember this. Nick Gilby. So you've gone ahead. Ah, I remember you. So with this one, you had loads of little squares. Now you've simplified it down much better. Slightly I'm less squares. Sneeze. Oh, <sighs> <laughs> I need a tissue as well. In fact, I'm going to go get a tissue so I can seize it a bit more. Could you entertain the chat by well, telling the chat who is in the finals? Absolutely. So I thought I'd just give you guys a quick Ooh. run through while Will goes and blows his snotty nose. How you feel? I can't help it. So just in case you guys missed it. So episode two, we have Benjamin, Priyash and Maz and Benjamin is through to the finals. Episode three, we had Camille, Eric, Brian, and Bassem. Uh, Bassem, Bassem, maybe. Eric went through to the finals. Episode four was Miguel, Jemmy, and Greg, and Miguel went through to the finals. Episode five was a stream, and I think Will's got someone in mind for that one. Episode six, we had Mike, Henry, Nick, and Nadez. Mike is the finalist for that one. Episode seven, we had quite a few. We had Osama, Jack, Ahmed, Gemma, Samantha and Roldan and Roldan was the finalist for that one. 
And then episode eight, we had Good Good Ginder, Kevin Bryant, who was a resubmission, and Corey. Kevin, um, I think you were in the chat earlier. He's got 65% vote on that one, which hasn't been announced yet. And then Will did an oops, and he, episode, he uploaded one called episode eight after episode eight. So there's two episode eights, which is episode nine. Um, and we had Dan from Square Eyes, uh, we had Yasser Hassan and Tom, uh, Thomas and Dominic. Yasser is the finalist for that one. He had 35% of the votes, but Dan was very, very close behind with 33% of the vote on that one. So we have Benjamin, Eric, Miguel, Mike, Roldan, Kevin and Yasser all going through to the final video, which is coming out very, very soon. So, like I say, Will still has a wild card that he wants and we'll do it with some sort of big, hilarious vote on this today. And we're excited to be giving out that $200 yes, right. Amazon gift card to the winner. I'm looking forward to it. Or whatever your currency is. That's it. Whatever your currency is, equivalent of $200. Boom. I should be on radio. I do apologise. I have got hay fever and there must have been a gust of pollen or something coming to my office or something like that regardless let's carry on was that all right what's everyone saying about the finalists they've gone very quiet so i hope they're listening i think they must be listening <laughs> it must be either that or the stream's down for a bit it's not don't worry it's still on my phone oh cool so nick gilby i remember your work your work was unreal uh very complicated at the start but you've simplified it down and you've done a great job of simplifying it which is the main thing that i wanted you to do but you didn't outline your font so it's kind of difficult for me to see uh, with the fun. Sorry, hay fever. The perils of being live on YouTube. Man, it's crazy. Um, Paisil, what I like about this is that now it does work better. I would suggest you even simplify this even more. So by that, get rid of some more of these squares. And that's what I'm going to keep telling you to do. Simplify them, simplify them, simplify them. When I see there's room for simplification, I would do that. Speaking of which, the actual, I can see the logo on the Apple Watch here and it looks amazing when it's small. It looks so much better when it's small now. Uh, I prefer that a lot. Your typeface works really well. I wish there was just one with the typeface so we can see it in more detail by itself. But your typeface, again, you've got the curling perfect and the actual italicization and the movement of the logo shows movement, shows enthusiasm, which is zeal well done dude your app as well looks nice just a bit too big is what i'd say well done really good job really good job next one nikolai here we go he's in the chat Woohoo! nikolai nikolai wow that's what i've been saying i hope it's right here we go here's your turn here we go okay first thing i say here is um the colours and the way that you've got it here makes it look like it's from a baby brand. He says, that's me, woohoo. This is a cool It's very soft, isn't it? Yeah, it's very, very soft. Now, what I would suggest to do... Let's do this. I'm going to do it. Bush black. What does it look like when it's black? Okay, see, when it's black and it's small, you can't see it. So that's one thing that you can work on right there. You see the E here? Let's go back to black. Let's fix this E a little bit here. So... We've got to look at these negative shapes. This negative shape doesn't work very well. So we need to make this symmetrical a little bit. Let's see if I can do it. I might not be able to. Like so. We want to make it work a little bit better. I mean, this is not how I normally do it, but this is what you can do. Like so. You see the A? So the actual uh, hole here is too round, which is hard to say. Uh, the P and the A. I mean, this logo looks really good in a sense that it um, is legible on the business card. It looks really friendly. We want to get to that point where it's not too friendly. Uh, we want it to be... There, there becomes a point in like a design or a brand where it becomes too friendly, where it becomes baby-like. And we don't want that. And the way to get rid of that is by adding more sharp corners. And because everything is round, that's why I'm getting this feeling. Although it does really work as a logo itself. You see this green here. We don't want that green. I'll show you a better color that you can choose for that, actually. Uh, let's ungroup that. 
Uh, let's use the green and let's brush. That looks a bit more like a sick color, but you want it to be yellow. Even though it looks more like a baby color, it's hard for me to choose. In fact, let's just because it. it's such a soft font, it like is. a cuddly font. It is. That's why you don't want it to be too cuddly. So pay on the icon here. Z. I like the way you've got this all spread out, and then you've got the euros here. And again, you don't want it to be just euros. You don't want to just single yourself out to one market, but you've done a good job here. Now, this is cool. The pattern is very nice. I see where you're coming from here. The nice bubbly round line weight here. Paisal going up. Very nice. Paisal app. Does it work on the app thing here? Paisal. So, to me, it took me a while there to see the app icon. Now, when you're showing it on like something like you know an android phone it's important that it's an app that we can see straight away so brighten up those colors i like the mock-ups that you got here wilma peterson founder and ceo thank you i like it i like it i think you just need to change the typeface change that make it less bubbly and you're on to a winner i like it what's the chat saying would you like to announce who your wild card is why are they freaking out over no, the wild card? No, nobody's freaking out about the wild card, but I think it would just maybe put somebody out of their misery. Yeah, sure. It's Dan at Square Eyes Media. Yeah? Dan Fox. Yeah, Dan. We would we would like to you to be our wild card. You're my wild card. It's like asking you I'm to. I'm putting prompt. you out your misery. Because <laughs> he said he got your feedback. Um, and he thought that he'd rounded it too much when he looked back on it a few days after sending it in. So, well done. Freaking? Well done, Dan. You are through to the finals. Work so on it. We still got a vote from the actual stream there, right? Yeah, that's your wild yeah. That's, that's your, my wild yeah. I get to choose one person from that comes stream, in. stream, let's say, yeah, for that week. The one perk. So but, dude, well, well done. done. Like, this work here is good as well. Sorry, I'm thinking of two oh, different yeah, conversations. Oh, yeah, Well done, Nikolai. Yeah, well done, dude. Good well job. done. Cool. Next one. We're on to the O's now. Which there is only one O. So this one is uh, Osama, which is another... I think I've seen this already, unless this is a resubmission. Which I think it is. This could be a resubmission, actually. So I think I've already done this one. But again, and the reason why I think I've already done this is I remember this. This needs to be... You see this? This needs to come further down and exaggerated... So you can see it. But in fact, I would just suggest to keep this all together. As crass as that is, it looks so much better like that. The logo design P with the Z, yes. To the P, that looks great. Ubuntu is a great typeface to use. And the grid. Everyone loves a grid. How sophisticated nobody does that look like? Looks really sophisticated. It looks really sophisticated. Don't no, be just repeating words now. The grid. The grid looks sophisticated. <laughs> no, the logo in the grid. When you oh, put yeah, a grid I, around I thought you were on about the grid. I was like, I no, no, the I logo in the grid. Yeah, I like yeah it. the typeface works well. It's very millennial. Yeah, very millennial. Mm. Monzo, kind of. Yeah, yeah, fresh. Which is fresh. Uh, typeface, colours, nice. I love the pattern. The pattern's really clever, really well done. Again, I think I've already done this one, so I'm going to pass on this, but it looks really good. Well done. Good job. On to I like it when people make little like patterns out of the stuff that they send in. Like I it know it doesn't always work, but when it does thing. and it works well, it, it does look really good. Part cool. of the brief. Yeah. Have a pattern. Nikolai's really happy. Well done. It's very good. You did a really good job there. You did a good job, Nikolai. Awesome. Oh, Brandon, you've not got Will sick. This is just hay fever. Allergies. If anything, I got your sick, but yeah. <laughs> You didn't catch Brandon's poorly. I know. This is just allergies, yeah. Yeah. But Brandon, yeah. He was poorly. Allergies. All right. iPhone X app. What is this? What do I do? Designs. Let's go into designs. You see this really quick. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fonts, people. Outline them. Naughty. Naughty. If you don't outline your fonts. We'll bite you. We'll bite you. <laughs> we'll literally bite you. All right. So. So this is from Poan. So first thing first, this is too, uh, too pointy. Uh, this is probably your best option there. Uh, the reason why is I always say the word, it'll take me eye out. Like it'll poke you in the eye. <laughs> uh, you haven't outlined your font, so I can't see it there. So let's just move on to the ideas I love stage. seeing the sketches. 
the sketches is a massive part this is what you should show that's people. what your sketches look like as well yeah my sketches i don't think i have it uh your white book it's probably here this book that one someone offered to buy this off me i should sell it <laughs> like this is like full of like sketches like random things now like, i'm just going to find you a sketchbook just to show people to make them feel better because like a lot nobody of people... does it starts with basic stuff it really does all... i mean i'm saying that i don't draw logos but <laughs> seeing will go from you know basic shapes and ideas exactly like we've got here and then taking them and, and turning like them into actual client work that you know is usable right i was going to make people feel better about the sketching process so the sketching process for a logo doesn't need to look good at all let's just go into just me for a second here we go shabing so as you can see oh can i get it so i'm right with the camera that's as good as i'm going to get so that is a sketching process right there that not that one that one it's hard to see uh oh, there we go that's better. So that is for a logo that I did ages ago here. That one's for a different one that I did. Uh, and that was the final one here. That's just a really quick sketch. I did more sketches somewhere else. but Show them the back of it because I love that. Oh, the back. Did some lettering on the back. I love it. So anyone who doesn't know I'm a hand lettering artist too. That was done with Posca markers. And someone wanted to buy the whole book of me. I might sell it. Do it. Is it like selling your diary, though? Is it a weird feeling? Um, yeah, I guess so. It's uh, well, yeah. I, li I like to keep my books for book, like to make other books out of. Books and books and books. Books and books and books. It's quite valuable having your sketchbook. Keeping your sketchbooks valuable. So we've got the sketches here for this guy. Oh, change it so people can see. There we go. Sketch for this guy. We got Paziel. So again, dude. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, I would suggest to... Right, so there's a few things that I could suggest. So the first one would be the icon itself is way too sharp, way too pointy, and way too long. Square it in a little bit so it's more in, t in line with a square. Also, the pay and zeal, you've missed the weight and there. Get the zeal to be... The thing that people see prominently, this typeface is way too thin. And also, and I'm saying this, I'm trying to help. I don't mean to be mean, but you've got to make sure that your type is correct. And I hate to be mean, but it's the only way to learn. Get that lower. Get rid of that. No one wants that. Bring that in. Square that up. Get this to the center. I mean, it's... I can like do these things to like make it look a bit more pleasant to look at, but it's important to have the fundamentals down because right now the, the logo is way too sharp in the middle. I can see the P and I can see the Z. Very clever concept is good, but execution you've got to work on a little bit. Is that fair? Yeah. Like I don't like being mean um, or offending people. You've got loads of work down here as well, but I can't see your tight faces, dude. You've done a lot of work on this, dude. It looks like you've done a good job. The pattern works like, all right. It's just way too sharp. We need this to be like less sharp. You've got the business card there. works really well. The phone is upside down on the icon, just so you know as well. Uh, it's these little things that people see. Just these tiny little things. But, dude, you've done a good job here in the sketching. You're one of the only that send in the sketches, which is really nice to see where I you came from. Them, yeah. You can see where his ideas came from. Love it. Which is great. Which this is what I really care about is how you got there. Like the the, the product is what the client sees. I see the process, uh, and I can help you through that. You know. So, cool. Right. Next one. Sorry, I would like to stay on a bit longer, but I will be in my coffin before this ends if I had to. <laughs> Just because there's so many. I can feel my tummy grumbling. I'll be honest. Yeah, we've got a few more. A few more in there. Raj. Raj. Let's have a look. Guys, if you're enjoying the stream, because people will be dropping in and out, so I must say it. If you're just new to the stream, we're doing a logo design critique through a logo design competition. 
A today, huge one. A huge critique is probably one of the biggest critiques. If you would like to become a member of the channel and support what we do, press that join button. There's different tiers from bronze all the way up to diamond, so anyone can take part. If you become a member, everyone joins into a Facebook group. There's different tiers, such as like if you go for the diamond one, you get like mentorship, which is weird. I haven't told that. Which to is funny because it costs more to have a one to one consultation meeting with you. Yeah, to have so, a one to one with me, it normally costs a lot more. Like exactly. A ridiculous amount. <laughs> so you're getting pretty good stuff for like not very much. If yet. you would like to. So We're that's just, just happy that you're here. Yeah, so as long as you're here, that's what it's about. And I just want to help you guys do better. But the options there for anyone who can or wants to. Again, we've got some more sketches here. Who is this by? This is by Raj. So Raj, you've shown me your sketchbook here. I like it. Dot Paisil. You've done a little challenge, haven't you? Where you just draw loads of different icons. Very nice. I like that. And you've chosen a really good design as well. Paisil, let's have a look. So, from here, you had a, a spike in interest in adding a circle. Let's get rid of that circle. We don't need that circle. Why is everything like... There we go. Right, let's get rid of that circle, because we don't need that. We're going to start simplifying. Like so. The circle all it does is add something to it as a border, but it doesn't work as a border because you've already got a very round font or typeface. You see here, perfect example of kerning issues. Sorry, I'm just trying to like ungroup everything really quick. <laughs> kerning game live. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I always boss the kerning game nowadays. It didn't used to, but nowadays I'm absolutely bossing it. I reckon I could. You probably could, to be fair. From the amount of you know, trouble I give Daniel's people. made a really good point. He says that I think some of the entries have tried to incorporate both a P and a Z into the logo unnecessarily. If it's forced, it isn't as effective. Yeah. Some of the sketches would have been better as icons. Yeah, so this is what I'm saying. Everyone like has got the ones. ability. It's the decision that you make. Because you don't have to put everything into a logo. No. The idea is to get as, as like the overarching if you to hierarchy the thoughts and the feelings of a company or the attributes of a company such as mine mm. what am i i'm a highlighter artist and a logo designer yeah what is my logo your face it's, it's one of them's my face yeah because i i don't really have a mark that goes anywhere aside from my signature yeah i've got a signature because it encapsulates what i do and it's really simple i think it'd be too much pressure for you to have a logo if I, yeah, exactly. And that's <laughs> another point. Yeah, I don't have a logo for a reason. You don't need it. No, because like, if I had one, I would change it. Yeah. Not every company needs a logo. It's like having a singer having a her, her own song as a ringtone. Yeah, it's Might weird. be a bit much. <laughs> you never know. You'll probably find one. But dude, like, exactly. So the P and the Z, I do like the icon, but just get rid of this P in there. You don't need that. Yeah, people seem to be in agreement. Ozdragon does... And Dimitri, yeah, too much complexity. And Nike, exactly, Nike's a check mark. Yeah. Squeezing, squeezing too much in. The Nike wings. You can, the more that you can take away, the better it's it not, looks. It's not a check mark, it's a swoosh. It's a little interesting story. You're nerding again. I am. I'm going to nerd, but it was supposed to be wings. Okay. Speed <laughs> and everything. Very clever. There you go. But did you see what I'm saying there? Very nice presentation. <laughs> I nerd out on people all the time, but there you go. Hey, guy, did hey, you know hey, this guys. fact? It's really cool. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> right, but dude, you saw what I said there. Just organize your type um, and get rid of that circle and maybe simplify your logo a little bit more. You had it right there somehow, but wait. Let's find one. Let's find one. Let's find one. Even like something like that. Mm. Or. Or. Ah, oh, that's a really cool illustration, dude. Ah, oh, this is really cool. I like this. I like seeing where people go. It's from a hand giving money over to this. But it looks like an F, so I understand why you didn't choose it. So, But well <laughs> done. I like it. 
What I like it. It's great. I'm not laughing at that. What are you laughing at? Just telling everybody I'm your sister wife. You're not my sister wife. <laughs> You're crazy. I'm not. When me and Will go away to places, and I often go with him, <laughs> um, obviously because I'm Naomi Patterson, they, he's like, oh, you're your sister or your wife? And I'm just like, sister wife. So I'll just say I'm his sister because obviously we look nothing alike. And then, uh, yeah, when they see us like maybe having a little kiss later in the evening, it starts some wicked rumours and it makes me laugh. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah, sorry. I'm just out to embarrass you, babe. You are. Ruin and your livelihood. I expect nothing Destroy less. your YouTube reputation. Start some beef. Start some fights. That's what I'm here for. Kind of drama <laughs> alert or something. <laughs> right. Regardless, we must go on because we've got a few more. We've got Samantha, a resubmission. Lovely. Oh, and she's even said it's outlined, so that's great. Right, so Sam Jansen, so Samantha, and there's her Instagram people. Let's just get that. She gets a good shout out because she outlined her work. Yeah, she does. (laughs) Right, there we go. Get rid of that. Sorry for the mechanical keyboard sounds, people. So here's a concept. So two arrows for transfer plus the P plus the Z equals this. Uh, let's go in and then the continued exploration ah you can see here this is like the sketch oh we've got book. samantha in the chat too hey samantha how's it going Woohoo, let's go <laughs> it's cool to see the people in the chat love it so we've got the detailed explanation here you see this here get rid of stuff like oh. that you don't need that it just popped up didn't it what that little line well oh, i think it was always there you got this one here as well get rid of lines that don't make sense that's all i'd say any lines that don't make sense, get rid of anything that would confuse the client too. Uh, and he came over to this part here, which is a really nice logo. But, but you've got to be careful that it doesn't look like a question mark. I don't think it looks like a question mark. To me, it does. Does it? But it's not a bad one. It's not bad. I'm just saying you've got to be careful. Like, you can see. I can see a question mark in there. That's not me slating it. That's me just no, giving an observation. Seeing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the coolest thing about this, by the way, I would suggest is the fact that you've taken on board exactly what I said. This has got the same feeling and the same shape and size. Maybe like a light bulb. Mm. Yeah. Not only that, it fits perfectly. Or a knight in a chess piece, by the way. Or an ear. Boom. That works ridiculously well next yeah, to it. Yeah, I like that. Uh, it looks like a knight now when I look at it. Or a seahorse. But that doesn't matter because you've got a very unique icon there which is what I like. Your typography is on point. You've actually kerned it correctly really well. I love the professionalism off of this and the fact that I could do that very quickly is always a good sign. Samantha's getting a lot of love in the chat. Renato's Are people loving some it? Love. Yeah, I, I knew they would love this one. Good marketing, Dimitri says. Yeah, Daniel. Guys, says. honestly, if you want more of this sort of stuff, but on like a more regular basis, if you go to that Facebook group or like become a member, I don't care, just get into it somehow. Like, you'll get this more. It's important to have this sort of conversation, though, with mm-hmm. people. I agree. I love the community as well. I love you guys chatting away. Makes me smile. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, right? Right. Even when the randos come in, they make me smile. <laughs> App icon. One thing I'm going to do, which is something I think you missed. Get that low. Doesn't need to be high or like wide. Get it low. So you're enca- encapsulating it. So it's not defending the borders of the app. You've got to get it to the perfect sort of place where it looks right. And it's called the eye of design because of grids. You want to have a grid mind. So when you're thinking about app icons, you want to have this grid mind. Watch. little trick for anyone right now. See this. Boom. You see the corners and the edges from where my mind was going? You can see that everything has got a similar space around it. Now, when it's bigger, you haven't got a similar space around it. But when it's here, everything optically looks similar because of this box that it's surrounding. So you're not defending the outer skirts of the icon. It just looks better. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. It's hard for me to explain. I love it. 
I like the ombre bit. Yeah, it's really nice. Really good colour choice too. It's Absolutely. really different. Would that Honestly. make a pattern? Pardon? Would that make a pattern? You could she do, done yeah. it a bit in the background there. That. Yeah. That's the exact subtlety that I wanted as Love well. It. Very good. Very nice work. This is what the resubmissions are all about. She says that makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Colour exploration. Yeah, I like it how you got rid. I like it how you've shown me your exploration here and it helps me so much to see. Very you've clear. done such a good job there. Well done. GG. Well done, Samantha. Awesome work. Great work. Right. Next one. We are on to, what is it? Chivalry? Chivalry? Chivalry is dead. No, he's not dead. Chivalry is dead. He is alive. He is alive. Right. One sip. That fresh, fresh water. Of that fresh, fresh water. Guys, stick around. Make sure, because we're going to be voting at the end. You know, we'll be organising that whilst I'm chatting away. <laughs> Maybe still hasn't figured that out. You know, we need to figure that out. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> right, Chivalry, there's the whoop. Go and follow wherever you need to. I'm obsessed with shouting people out. Paisil. Ooh. Paisil, Paisil. There we go. I can't. So, right, I'm going to look for it all so I can make sure I understand it. Sketches. This is where I want to be. This should be first. After the proper presentation, mm. should I say. So the process. All logos start with terrible sketches. Correct. Here are some initial sketches derived from the brainstorm of words. I have further developed them and d digitally developed them. Sorry, dyslexia. I've also outlined the two letters P and Z that can be seen with the negative and positive spaces. Okay, nice. Well done. Word clouds. Very nice. Transfer. This is very similar to what we've seen, which is great. It means you're on to a winner. Okay. Let's have a look. So, first things first is I like the look of it, but I'm going to simplify it. That's like your go to, isn't it? I like it, but I'm going to fix it. Yeah. Well, that's what it takes. No, I agree. Watch this. I like to see how you work it. I like to see how you work it. You watching yeah, this? Fix that logo. I'm going to fix that logo. Mm. Done. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> wow. That's pretty, that's pretty good. That's all I've done. Actually. Okay. The bottom one looks like it's more to the right than the yeah. other ones. Is it? Or is that my eyes? It's your eyes, I think. It looks, I don't know if it's Yeah, it's angle. your eyes. It looks, does it look like that to you guys? I see where you're coming from. Watch. So what, what I've done is you've got too many lines that are different. Sorry, this line in the middle is different. And I don't understand why you've done it. But let's just get abstract. If you go in abstract, get abstract. People say oh, it might not be as unique. It doesn't have to be. It's three lines. You've got the ideas here, right? It looks like an E too much. But when you do this, where is it? This, it looks better. You can even, I just like to have things balanced. There's no need not to have it. Yeah, so some people, well, Daniel says it looks like a snazzy hamburger-y kind of icon logo, which I kind of get. I'm making Samantha laugh. I love that. I'm glad I'm making you laugh. Um, and I think, yeah, like a blog logo, possibly. Um, yeah bookshelf kind of look the three stashes of money on top of each other i can also see that as well it's from nikolai very balanced the way that the curve was done is neat i agree and adobe pikachu says yes it seems like the one at the bottom is a little bit more to the right yeah i would say so that too oh and we've got matt lazar he says hey will and naomi he super chatted us five dollars please could you critique my paisio branding design i've just sent it a couple of minutes ago thanks Yes, so, we can do it at the end. Yeah, we will pop you in at the end, Matt. Thanks so much for super chatting. $5. We're not long off the end as well. That's why I'm doing at the end. Lovely. So. We'll have to remember you. Everybody in the chat remind us. Because we're going a little bit crazy here. Just write it down. <laughs> You'll be all right. Right? Adobe Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, honestly, your work here is great. 
the reason why I've done that is it is simple. You might be like, well, it's taking all the creativity out. Yeah, that's the idea. Simplify. Simplify, simplify. You can even get more simpler than this. I could stop the corners being rounded. Another thing of why it looks different is because the corners are rounded differently. So what I could do, actually, let me just show you, because I need to show people. This is like gold for some people. Boom. Done. You can see. Wait. That looks too much like an E, actually. Two sex. I'm not constraining it to an angle. I'm finding an angle that I like. I probably had it better before. I was trying to do something different, but I realized I probably can't. But I like to have it so it's ridiculously simple. So when I zoom out, I can see what it is, and it looks easy going. But well done, dude. I like the whole presentation. You've done a really good job here. Futura, specifications, the process. Sorry for not reading all of it. Your app icons, colors. I like your actual parts here the the pain transfer that's nice the help icons the, the help needs to be centered on the pain transfer line everything needs to be centered on this uh but good job adobe creative cloud nando's amazon <laughs> <laughs> nice one we'll take yours. if you're paying adobe creative cloud for 16 pounds a month you're onto a winner anyway you must be like a wizard how did you do that if you're only spending 25 quid at nando's i think you're onto a winner or not. yeah i know right wow winner winner chicken dinner <laughs> that was funny honestly you should see the chat half of it's like people being dead serious and like giving half genuine of people feedback. like you half of it we're on about this is a perfect representation of me and you Nint nintendo adobe pikachu so <laughs> it's, just, it's so funny <laughs> very good plus one for chicken pun Thank fonts you. who is this <gasps> oh, shame dear. them shame. simon oh, he's age 15 don't worry dude oh, never mind. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a little tip to outline your fonts dude because i don't have them installed so simon emailed in control shift and o and so he's 15 but he says that he's chatted with his parents and they call with him to take part and for 15 years old i was super impressed so yeah could not not put it on you told me about him before didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> you explained. That's how impressed I was. Right, so dude, don't take any offense. I'm going to get rid of this because it's not got a font to it. So we're just going to have a look at the icon right now. So first things first, your icon works small, which is the best thing. That's good. Second thing, I like your colors, but let's change them. You've got too much of a green tint in there. It makes it look ill in a good, no, in a bad way. So we need to change that color. On the gradient, so we go to the window. Where's my gradients? My legs are shaking now. Restless legs. Right, and we're gonna go for opposites, opposite colors. Watch this. Oh yeah, let's move this in. This is me being very crass, by the way. I agree with you, Ermin. Like, I think there are younger and younger designers with impressive work. And I think that was something that Will said to me earlier when I was telling him about uh, this, this design by Simon, is that younger people have got this this talent, especially for understanding the market. Yeah. Like, iGen, even even more than the, the, the millennials, really, are, are able to pick it up and see what and get the ideas down and get you know creative with it because they're so immersed in what's popular they are the target market they're the up and coming i should change your colors because i'm yeah. interested here i like that yeah hmm. you're about 50 in design years aren't you me yeah what do you mean you know they have like dog years yeah. You're calling me... Well, you're calling me old. Well... I'm only 25. That's quite old. That is quite old. I'm 10 years older. I remember when I was 15. I was 15 once. <laughs> yeah. No, maybe 16 dog years if you say <laughs> things like that. 
dude i've just changed the logo a little bit just because it is really good and i like to do this when it's a nice logo lovely not because it's bad at all but because I just, there's just so many obvious things that i could do for it and it's just me experimenting that there encapsulates a bit more you can even go a bit more creative nah nah that was just a bad idea maybe a fraction but not as much let me do something. This you got the same idea as I have. Bring that top bit out and then curve the bottom. No, I'm not curving anything. Yeah, I meant to about there. But then curve the no, bottom. I don't like it. It's fine. That's better there. It's fine. <laughs> Keep Loving it simple. Loving the gradient. That is a lot better. I like that gradient a bit more. Let's just use that gradient <laughs> for here. Boom. Dude, honestly, you've done such a good job here. I'm just changing the colours. So, did you see what I did? Is he in the chat? I don't think so, Simon? No. I don't think Simon's in the chat. Well, when Simon sees this, if he sees this, if not, if someone knows him, send him a message. And, and what will Simon say? Yeah, Simon says, goes. I'll there you go, Simon. That's PG. what I would do. Well done, man. Like, not much else to say apart from just fixing a couple of things. Great work. Alistair, I think yours was at the start, fella, so you'll probably want to go back to the beginning. Yeah, You've gone definitely... in alphabetical order and more into S. So I'd definitely check out the start of the stream. It'll be on live Yeah. tonight, like a couple of hours. Just after the video yeah, ends, about 10 minutes Yeah, just after it pretty after. much goes on, so you'll be able to rewind. <laughs> That's right. And see it. Oh, wow, you've actually image traced all your sketches. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. All right. Sample meeting notes, ideas internal, pays your online payment. So you've taken all the notes from what I've talked about in the video. Yeah. Competition, yeah. Out, yeah. Yeah, you've done perfect there. That's mm. great. That's good no that's good to know. Oh wow. Look at that. I'll just let everyone suck on that for a little minute. Excuse you. Wait, yeah, excuse me, sorry. Uh, I'll let everyone suckle on this. <laughs> That's not any better. What do you mean? Suckle. Look, parents and stuff. So I'll let everyone sit on this for a minute. It's gone quiet. Terra says it's a very clean logo. Ermin says suckle. <laughs> hey, the delay isn't that bad, actually, to it's be fair. Really right now, I changed it. I have to go for ultra Daniel likes latency. how the Z's been modified. Let's get this back on track. Right. I like that as well, yeah. It looks good. Do you want me to show something <laughs> even cooler? There you go. What do you think of that? Wait, you didn't see what I did, did you? No, I didn't. Watch. Boop, wait. Good job. Bing. Bing. Could you put a gradient on that? No need. Mm, I think it looked cool. I, I mean, the gradient... Yeah. I mean, gradients do look cool. Let's go on the icon. Mm, Let's just test it. People liking this one. This one's really nice. Like, that one there, this is a perfect P. And I think... I'm going to kick myself because is there a Z in there? Can you see a Z? Can anyone see a Z in there? Is there a Z in there? I can't see a Z in there. Cast your votes, people. Can you see a Z? There probably is one there. I'm just going to kick myself. I, I like this a lot. I Put it that way. One. Let's do a gradient. Yeah, do a gradient. Gradient like for your, the lads. You, you like gradients. Gradients for the lads. I don't think many people in America would understand that. It's fine. British <laughs> humour. I'm sorry. We've got British humour around here. Blech. Green. Don't want that. Let's have the world's subtlest gradient. Boom. Adds an element of depth. So there's no P. No Z, just a P. Um, I don't think we need a Z in the logo. The stem of the P creates the middle of the Z. Tara can see the P looking like the bottom half of a mermaid. David can't see one. Samantha. Brand system needs yeah, to be done. Yeah, no, I agree with that, Samantha. A Z isn't a needed, Nikolai says. That's right. Yeah. No, it's good. I think like, everybody's on board in agreement. I was just checking if there was one, but Manasha I just changed the Z. This one's very good, I agree. I changed the and added a bit of depth to it, but obviously that's subjective at this point. Yeah, it works really well in all areas. It's really clean. It is really clean. 
everyone who does a grid, who does it in a grid layout, makes it clean because you can't not go clean in a grid layout. This is what I keep telling people. And I've got an interesting product that I'm making, aren't I, when you it are. comes to logo type with grids. You just get your kicks off grids, don't you? Yes, because I have got something that is going to change the face of the world. I can't tell anyone, but like it's going to change the face of Icon. That's an epic statement right there. I've shown you it and you were like, ah, it's really good. Well, that's that's all we shall be telling them for now. Yeah, that's all I should be telling you. Basically, mm. stick around. If you remember, it's free when it comes out later. But yeah, right. Enough of that. Dude, awesome work. I'm just going to look at your logo one last time. One of my favorites right there. Let's get rid of that brand system. It's ruining it. There we go. I like that a lot. Need it centered. Let's there center it. Really good work. Really clean. I love that with the gradient. You like it with the gradient? Yeah. Even so, it's so subtle. It just adds, it adds weight that makes it look really good to me. Everyone's going gradient now anyway. Most companies like go gradient. Just like a subtle one. I, think it's, I yeah. think it's nice in my opinion. It's important. Yeah, that's no, good. That's it. It's very subtle. It could be more subtle, but there you go. Right. Well done, Steve. Okay. So how are you real? Sayuriel, I can't pronounce your name. I apologize. On to the next. Come design with me. Visual identity. Will Patterson pays your logo design by Sayuriel Fami. Call you Fami for now because I can't pronounce it. Your logo is modular. You've got a modular logo, right? Kerning, first thing. I'm just, this is one thing I automatically go to first, and that's just because I'm a type, type graphic designer. Don't be afraid to zoom right in and right out when you're doing these sort of pieces of work. YouTube saying that uh, you had a whole 50 minutes where we had nobody nobody in now. It, YouTube's mental. YouTube. Yep. From 20 past 6 to 10 past drunk. 7, no one was here. YouTube's YouTube is drunk. drunk. Yeah, it needs to go home. Uh, concept idea, basic accounting principles. Oh, wow. Oh, are you an accountant? I agree, Tara. It's very purple. Very, very purple. It's nice though. I like it. I like the contrasting colours. This logo is unreal. All I want to do though is just like, you know, <laughs> do that. <laughs> I want to make them smaller. Or even like, I prefer that. That's just me. You guys let me know what you think. Oh, I prefer that. Oh, that looks good. Well done. Even though I probably just ruined it for him, but you've got the hierarchy points here. That is ridiculously cool. Dude, this logo is unreal. Where is it on here? Okay, so that's where you're going wrong. You need that to be white. You need the actual... This, you don't want purple. Because uh, it's like the blue is too close. So when you zoom out, it's hard for the eyes to see. You want it to be the opposite contrast color. So you want it to be white. Let's get this on black. Zoom this down, bring this down a bit. Boom, I prefer that. Don't know about anyone else, but that looks really good. Gee, this works cool. I like the way that you've done this as well. Well done. Very cool. Very nice. I like it. On to the next. Hey, this is a lot easier than when I first did this. I think it's because you're here helping me. But... I'm helping, and I'm not adding like 15 people this time. Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> I cool. agree, Daniel. Yeah, the balance. The balance, yeah. Yeah. No, that's Tara cool. Tara likes the icon, yeah. Nice. Right, so uh, Tamne, age 15. Check that. Oh, that's like... Oh, she was on the chat earlier. Oh, really? She's yeah, you on the chat yeah. now? Are you on the chat? She, she might still she be was, here. She was called Charlie because she had three different names in her email, which confused me. All right. So Charlie, I'll just call it Charlie for now. If that's what she was called on YouTube. She was, that's what she was called on YouTube, yeah. One thing I love about this is the block type. Very easy to see. Very social media-esque. Another thing I like is the fact that you try to do two different colors in there. The app icon works really well as well. I'm trying to look down. Z plus the uh, like zeal, I guess. is that That's probably the zeal part equals this so you've got for a z in these two contrasting colors 
Let's have a read. I have tried to create a logo that could fit anywhere. The colors are chosen so as to represent trust, modernism, as well as the enthusiasm. Very good. I greatly enjoyed this contest and hope you would plan more contests Aww. like this. P.S. Tamni. Very nice. Yeah, I, well, we're definitely doing more like this. So, well done. Thank That's you so lovely. much for bringing it in. This Good looks job. amazing. One thing that you can take away is that don't be afraid to zoom in. You need to zoom in to see this problem here. See that? You've got a bit of a weird anchor thing here. You don't want any of these there. You just want that one as a mirror image of this. You see how these two work well? You want one nice flowing point right here. Well, you want that to be the same for here. You don't want all these different other ones there because that's what's going to give you the trouble. Same here. So, well done. Good job. Be critical of yourself in a good way. Just look at these things. Look at the points of where you need to be right. Hi, Jen. Killing it tonight. Yeah. It's unreal. It's cool. See, I started when I've got to try and pull out my first design that I did in Photoshop Elements. Do it. Do you remember that? No. Probably, maybe. I did it in bubble, like it was like a bubble, bubble background. Yeah, it's like a was bubble background. Was that acne? What? Ex you spent you spelled it wrong, so it was except acne. Probably, yeah, yeah, that was what it was. Yeah, that's good. That was what it was. I like the little hooks that you did on that one. Yeah, that's in the hundred thousand subscriber special. That one. Do you Is want it? to check that one? Oh out? yeah, I, I checked out my bad designs in the hundred thousands video. All right, so Paisil, who's this by? Let's You're welcome, David. Thanks for sending it in. David who? David Irvin. David I that we looked at earlier. Oh, cool. Nice one, David. Well done, man. Good to have you in. This one is from Turid. Apologies if I've pronounced your name wrong. Again, a very nice monospaced typeface with a call. I think this is a resubmission, to be fair. I've seen it this very well could be, I think, at this point. Um, yes. Boom. Let's go out lower. You don't want that to be too high and overtaking anything. I would suggest... I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I would suggest making the icon a bit thinner. I have no problems with the icon at all. I prefer it in this color scheme. Keep it in that color scheme. Get rid of the blue here. Um, yours is a very minimalistic. Get rid of all of this here. All of that and stick with this, but just make this thinner. That's all I would su suggest. I'll take the stroke off this for you, if that makes sense. Nice logo, though. Reminds me of Squarespace. Mm, yeah, actually. But it's nice. Like, I really like it as its own thing. I've ruined it there for a little bit, though. I like. It looks cool. Hierarchical logos. My go-to. Well done, dude. I like it when the icons on the top as well. It makes me think of like higher, higher margin companies, like more yeah. sleek ones. It's cool, right? Mm, especially in black and white. So guys, we haven't got many left. So if you did want to become a member, I'm just going to plug this every now and then because new people are coming in all the time into the stream as we can see here. But if you did want to become a member so you can join in on the Facebook closed group for members only where we critique logos and things like that, you can do it's from bronze to diamonds. There's like so many different perks in there. They're all worth it for you. It's like something that I've wanted to do for a long time. So become a member. It'll be good fun. Oh, Willie was in the chat earlier, but he's had to go. Oh, yeah? But I did say to make sure he came back. He's got two different colour options for his. He's like a... There's a purpley one as well. Okay. He hasn't outlined his oh, fonts. Oh, no. Bad Willie. Bad Willie. Never mind. It's all right. So you see this, Will? Let's have a look. See this? You're hidden that from me. Boom. Flip it, because that looks like an N. Flip it real good. I just ruined it. I got confused for a sec. There you go.
looks like number ones. Backwards number ones. Um making it curved but then at the same time i'm going to squish this down i apologize for any design enthusiasts i'm squishing it down i prefer that it just fits better i mean that's very crassly done quickly done quick edit which i'm used to but that's what i would suggest to do willy there's not much else i can say about that but well done dude i don't really mind about the color options i think you've got good colors there um, colors don't mean much. You have to get the icon just right, if that makes sense. So, well done. You've done a good job there, dude. Yeah. Croaky voice there. Croaky voice. <clears throat> talk with your diaphragm. You talk with your diaphragm. I am, that's why I haven't got a croaky voice. Me, 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 me. <laughs> right. Not many left. Oh, wow. There's not many left. Oh, remember the person that we've got to look at at the end? I won't forget. Don't okay. worry. This one is from Yassine, or Yassini, and the first thing I get from this is complicated. Um, so, I like your typeface. Let's get these two in. Oh, hello, because I don't want that. Ooh. Wait a minute. The heck? It's like a double on top. Let's get rid of these. There you go. Wrong group. There you go. Better. Into that. Oh wow, you've got doubles on top. I don't know why. Must be just a glitch. So lower this down. Changes into one color. Doesn't need to be two. Change this into the same color. All need to be the same. That looks better. I would suggest just, uh, it looks very complicated. And I think that's because of the, I can only describe them as serifs on the end. Here, you don't need these. Get rid of them and it looks so much better. It looks less like a snake. Send and receive money. I see where you're coming from though. Makes sense. Now, good job. What mug is this? Design better, iterate faster, create together. Nice. Envision. Nice. They sponsor me. Well, they don't sponsor me. They give to me. Which is very nice of them. Nice, dude. Really nice. Well done. I'll just change those little bits of the service at the end. I'm getting more concise as I go now. <laughs> is that the hungrier you get, the quicker you are? Yeah. We've got <laughs> two more. We've got Yasir. Let's have a look at Yasir. So you see it, uh, your fonts haven't been outlined, so I'll just have to do your icon, which I'm going to do from over here. I like your icon. I don't understand how it makes it into Paziel. I guess it's two different attributes coming together. Uh, it looks really nice. You've gone for the one of the icon grids, which is very nice, which is what I was talking about to anyone who wants to make an icon. It's important to have that sort of grid right there. Yes. Uh, it keeps your borders correct. And then let's have a look. <clears throat> Arrows, butterfly. Was this a resubmission? I don't know. Might be. Mm. I'm sure, I've seen this one before. So it's supposed to be a butterfly. That makes sense. Ah, that's clever. No, I like it. This is cool. Now that you've shown that, that should be up here. Get that up here so people mm. see it first so they don't get freaked like I did. The pattern looks cool, but get rid of it. You don't need that. Show something like this, something very minimalistic that works well. Yeah, I agree, Samantha. It's nice with him. Yeah? Mm. No, very good. You did a good job there. Very nice. Well done. I like it. Last one of the submissions. Ignore all them. Oh, fonts. <laughs> okay, so Zalot. Zalt. I call you Salt. Salt. Zalt. Whatever. Yeah, in my head I was like, Z, 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 Yeah, Z, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Right, main. Your logo has gone for uber bold. So there we go. Um, you need to have a bit more contrast here with the black, uh, the, the dark purple. It looks like grape, uh, like a grape purple, if, that, if, that, if that's what it is, grape purple. 
Um, yeah, I would have a bit more contrast in there, just making sure that it works a bit better um, so people can see it a bit more. But I do like the concept of it. It looks very... Well, I mean, it looks childish. It looks like Cartoon Network. So, I mean, it works, but is it targeting the right people is what you've got to ask yourself. You've used the golden ratio, but I don't know where you've used it. Um, Maybe they've just popped it on as an inspiration board. I don't know. Maybe. I like that. If you had an actual font right there, let's just put it to a font. How that I could now italicized pay with paisy so dude i would just like increase the brightness of the grape purple at the back here so we can see that shadow really nice with the shadow really artistic but one question you've got to lead yourself to like think is does it work for that company will it work correctly for a bank all right, so that's the submissions. Have we got someone that we need to look at now? Matt Lazar. Let's get him up. Where is he? Um, I'll put it in the folder. Yeah, sure. I thought you already did it. So right, Naomi forgot. We've got this little system going on where Naomi puts them in the folder. Dun, 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 dun. You know when your bum gets numb? Yes. Even though I've got a really comfy chair, this chair is actually really comfy. I know that feeling. There you go. I'll let you read some of the comments while I get this up. All right, I'm reading the comments. Nomi says, ha, 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 te. <laughs> uh, Ahmed David's, the pattern works really nicely in the background. Yes. I like the look. Plum is the odd color, but that's what it is, a plum color. Uh, but it's a little tough to see from a distance. Yeah. I totally agree. Dimitri is ripped. I like Tyrant Face. I think Faze. he checked out his Instagram. Oh, right, really? Mm -hmm. Is I Dimitri, think... like, actually ripped? Or, is maybe, like... or maybe, you know, David David just has been watching him at the gym or something. I don't know. David Pruitt, have you been watching Dimitri at the gym? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't, can't think like that. It's just weird going backwards in the comments. If anyone's watching, just go backwards in the comments and see, like, look from my perspective. New Age Studio, what's going on, dude? I know you just came in like 10 minutes ago, but hello. I'm just going back some forwards. How do I get, sorry. How do I get the thing up? Well, where did you email it to? I just downloaded it. Do you want me to email it? I was going to put it in the file. Is it there? I'm going to find it, maybe. Bear with people, bear with. That? Yep, that's the one. Right, that needs to go. Here we go. Right. <laughs> nearly. We nearly had it. We nearly had it flawless, but it's all good. We're getting it now. Go right to the top. Awesome. So this is Matt Lazar, who super chatted us a little bit earlier. Cool. So you've got an overprint preview. Let's have a look. And he's in the chat. GG. Why have I got the overprint preview on? I want the uh, pixel preview, I think. Oh, no, I don't. Wow. This is destroying my computer. Give it a sec. It's going in for like different previews and stuff. Um, There we go. That's better. There we go. Cool. So now I've got my thing back. Zesty. Zesty. Who's this by, sorry? Matt Lazar. Matt Lazar. Cool. I just like saying your full name, Matt, sorry. Matt Lazar. First thing I like, your tight face. One thing you need to change, this P, you see here. Let me get a thing on. You need some more overshoot on the P. Let's get the guide up. So this part of the P. I can't see anything. You've got a strange document going on here. 
Oh, it's just me. It's not you, it's me. Um, it needs to have like consistent boundaries here. You see where the, the Y is and the Z. You've got overshoots on the P, not on the Y and the Z. Um, it needs to be more consistent, but I love the typeface that you've got going on there. Uh, as for the icon, I like what you've done there. But I don't think you need it. I think you can get rid of it. I love the typeface that you've got going on and the colors that you've got there. Again, the typeface, I can understand that there's a P and there's a Z. But something that I would suggest doing would be making it less complicated by adding less lines. For instance, there's no need for these lines down here. You see this? No need for these ones. Uh, I can see the Z in the P. I mean, it's very creative, but when you zoom out, this is what I'm saying. When you zoom out, you can't see it. You can only see a bit of the logo, and it kind of looks like a scribbled mess. So the only way to get rid of that would be by adding the Z or the Z subtly in there, or by, oh, let me just lock that layer, or by just having a complete whole P right there. I like the actual typeface you got there because it, it is really natural, it reminds you of plants. Um, the typeface is this, very nice, I like it, but it works really well. I've not seen uh, a design like this for a while. GC says, Will, are you sure of the overshoot? I mean, it's already overshoot in the Z and the L. No, the problem is, look, so... It's... You've got a P overshooting. And if the P overshoots... I mean, this is just because of the font design. Ah. So, you've got a P overshooting, but the Z is very much, like, not rounded. So, because of that, you've got the L, which is also rounded, which should overshoot. Uh, because... It's, uh, you see the P? That shouldn't overshoot. It should, the the P should be straight. That's what's making it look weird. Because the P is normally straight at the top. Ah. Like that. So the P should line up. I'll show you. I'll show you. Bush. It's going to be really crass. It's hard to explain. It does feel that the P should be a bit longer. A little bit stumpy. It's, it's not about not stumpy. It's not, it's not the stumpiness of it. It's about overshooting. So the way that overshooting works is the optical way that our minds look at the, uh, the typeface. But because the P isn't like a standard or traditional P... Uh, it's got a round and they've chosen it as a round so they overshooted it or they overshot it uh, When they shouldn't have they should have kept it like the Z because it means that the Z looks smaller From a distance and that could be the colors as well, but I'm seeing here as well It's more prominent on this one here, but dude, I like it. It's very different very different. I like the color scheme you've got there um, It doesn't remind me of like a payment company though. So maybe change the color scheme to a different hue, but a really good try though. It's really nice. Yeah. Ahmed says nice typeface and colours. Yeah. I really appreciate it and really like it. I agree. Awesome. Smart edits on the overshoot. Teaching me to check the typeface more. Says so Matt. Whose yeah. design this is. No, yeah, I see. So always like, even don't trust the font when you get it. Because like the design for like reading loads. This one's a display type. You've got to edit it sometimes to make it work better. So just make sure of that. What can I just say? The relationship between the Y and the Z. I like that a lot, by the way. The relationship. Yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah, look. Oh, I'm glad you guys have worked it out. Oh, it's like got the angle and everything. From it's Y great. to Z. From Y to Z, which isn't very much. <laughs> <laughs> I have got all of it from Y to Z. Right, guys. I'm going to leave you with a little video. If you've already seen it, I apologize, but it's a video talking about my memberships, which I'm pushing because we're doing more content over there. But thank you so much for watching. It's been incredible to be on here. Um, we've had so many people come in, give their super chats and stuff. We're taking a vote. Is that right? Yeah. If you guys yeah. want to leave anybody who's really stuck out for you in the comments, I will have a read through them. 
and uh, we'll chuck them in to the to the finals because we can do and because why not and also please do not forget that the final is coming out very very soon and if you have sent yours in if yours was one of the 300 plus that we've had that hasn't been featured in an episode or a stream please let me know and we can get you some feedback please don't be cross with us we're just trying our best. And yeah, we have some cross people. We have some people get very cross, especially uh, in emails, and I'll just delete it because we don't deal with that. No, we don't. So, right. so vote in the chat. Let's so see what people write think. Write the name of someone that you want to win out of this live stream, this very long live stream that we've done, and we'll see how it goes. There's so, there's so many, but we want to hear your vote. We really, really do. How are you feeling? Tired. Yeah, you've done really well. Yeah, I've done all right. People are saying well done. Thank you for being here. And thanks for everyone else like for being here. If you haven't already, there is a subscribe button and it is free to press the subscribe button. So press that. We um, like subscribe. And if you can't if you can't become a member, all I ask is that you share my, f- my stuff. I'm going to make a video yeah. about the YouTube stuff later, but it's changed a lot, right? Well, you flatlined uh, twice for 10 minutes and then for half an hour we had nobody nobody here apparently. <laughs> and I think that's pretty pretty conclusive. I think Samantha is going through to the finals. Oh, so really? congratulations Samantha. Congratulations Samantha, you are through to the finals. Um that's insane. Well done. You I did, agree. You did really good I work. Should we have a look job. at Samantha's work? Let's get hers back up. So we've got Dan Fox, who's uh, Dan at... That's my wild card, right? Was that it? Is your, yeah, yep. so Dan Square Eyes, I call you when we talk about you. Uh, he, this he, one, Samantha? Your Will's wild card and Samantha's. Here we go. You're through to the final two. Well done. Let's awesome. give Samantha some love. Woohoo! <laughs> GG. Samantha, you're in. It's great to have you here. Amazing that you're into the finals. Your work is incredible too. Well done. By the way, that doesn't mean that anyone else's work wasn't incredible. It's just no. It's just a vote. It is a, it is a vote it's in competition, vote. right? We she had consecutive about six consecutive votes. That's yeah. right, and we're doing more competitions as well. So after this series, after we come back from holiday, the voting will start again on series three with a higher stake, and it's going to be more insane. Um, no, that's insane though. Well done, Samantha. You've done a really good job. I'm going to put the face cam back to just me. Renato, honestly, normally I'd say yes, but we are literally ending it. So I'm I'm so glad How you became have... a member, but pop it in the Facebook group to get some feedback off. Yes. Because so we are literally Tomorrow ending it now. I'll be putting a post out on the community tab for all of the members and you'll see it so go to the community tab tomorrow and put your email for your facebook in there yeah and i'll pop you into that group and we can critique your logos to our heart content so and it's a community of people who are very talented you get, get some feedback on there yeah because we need to go and eat food now yeah because we've been doing this for since what three hours in a couple of minutes three hour live stream yeah three hour live streams but guys thank you so much i'm going to leave you to this little tiny video and then i'm going to pop off but honestly thank you very much you guys are awesome we love the work and we love doing this with you guys feel free to subscribe join do whatever you need to and we'll see you later have a good weekend Bye. goodbye So you're looking at becoming a member of my channel. If you don't know what a membership is, it's a way of you supporting the channel a bit more than just liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting on videos. There's different tiers of memberships in my channel, all the way from bronze to diamond, and you get different perks depending on which ones you get. I won't go into every single detail of the perks, you can read them for yourself, but basically you can become a member, get member only live streams and member only chats, some cool emojis, you get drafted into a members only closed Facebook group where we chat about design and it's basically like a community where I can chat with you a bit more, post my work, you can post yours, we can critique each other's work and be in a closed group of people. And the higher you go up in the tiers, the more you get and it's a monthly thing so i would just like to thank you if you were thinking of becoming a member don't worry if you can't but thank you so much